Logo. Hello, my boy. cannot hear it. It's only you guys. I know what it is though. It is very pretty. Sounds everything should be going pretty good. Does it sound okay now or it did seem low. Check some. Select Rio Bato. Don't, I'm sorry, I don't speak. Is it Russian? It's not really me. Can I change the Device in here, I can. But it is set right. Yeah, so I don't know. It sounds. <clears throat> it should be working okay. But I am unable to do some things for some reason. It's really weird. Um, yeah, the other. Yeah, the other things. Let me say, I'm off book at it for a minute here. Something is weird though because I, it's not letting me open up. My... Turn the volume all the way down at the break. Um, it's not letting me actually open up my my microphone properties at all. Can I do it through? Be able to artificially do it a different way. It's not the same option twice. All right, is that better? I think that's a little better. Yeah, that actually did go up quite a bit more. I might actually drop it back down a little bit. Okay, is that is that louder? I hope that is. Hello, DJ Pony. Let me swap to... Let me do that. All right. And... 
slow. Yeah, is it is it better now? I'm I'm seeing myself before I was barely hitting yellow, and now I'm hitting almost red. So it should be should be better. I hope it's fine. Um, sounds better. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's it's about TX voice is weird. Like I just don't. I'm using it on um a, a GTX card. And I just think that there's some issues with it that it just had, like, it'll run perfectly fine. And then the next time it won't run, it'll be weird. I don't know. I've been considering just like running it higher than normal and then dropping it on my slider here. So I have more freedom to adjust. He is, he's, he got the face. I got a ham sandwich with a side of ham. <laughs> Mm. All right. Um, he is very. He's happy. He's he's because you bring ham for me. Mm -mm. Horses don't eat. What did you mean? These are your friends. I eat my friends. At least the pigs couldn't talk. As far as I remember. No. Oh no. It's back to normal. Hello, yeah, it's Edward. got the derps. The derps right off the bat. Hello, uh, MPS film. Thank you, Edward. It's good derps. It's 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 just a little quiet. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm going catching up on chat here. Oh yeah, no, there's nothing else. I'm starting off with a bang. Sure. Uh, it's this is this is his bang face. <laughs> um, I have not poked at this. Uh, I don't think. Um, Apologies if the sandwich is crunchy. Hmm? It looks crunchy. It's very crunchy. There's nothing left of the bread. You toasted the crap out of it. This is good. This is a good level of toasted. Well, not. It's just before burned. Then there's no bread left. <laughs> but yeah, I want toast, not bread. <laughs> it's gonna be very loud. Yeah, I'll move the mic just a little. No, 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 no. Do your do your first bite. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no bread. There's no bread left. It's just a charred corpse that you put meat in. <laughs> it's good toast. Blueberry pop tarts. Uh, all right, where where were we on that? Oh yeah, we were working on the grass last time on this shot. Um, I think for the most part, actually, ah, actually, this is. Uh, this is closer to done than I thought in terms of grass. Like, it's kind of patchy over here, but meh. You were noting that oh, last time. Music too. Yeah, but I think now when I look at it, um, in context with everything else, I feel like it matters. Like, it looks fine. Uh, well, oh, wait, let me put the, the lights on. That was probably why I thought it didn't look right. When you have the lights on, it's, it looks a lot different. Um... But a lot of that is because there's these uh, individual bits in here that are just, they're at different angles and they accept light from a different angle. And so when the lights are on, they look fully lit. So I think when I actually have a light shining at these, those darker patches like here, here and here will kind of just go away. And it'll be more like this. There's times where sometimes I feel like uh, if I just did it like this without any lights on, it would look better. Uh, but if I did that, it would negate my ability to do any other lighting. So, no. Um, I'm going to keep it off for now, though. Uh, so I do... It's only... I'm going to just finish this up quick because there is not that much more I need to do. Um, just so I can ha say that this one is grassed. Well, I have to put the trees up. That was what, the, what it was. And then that was kind of. Um, or could you just keep it all grass? No, it's, it's an apple farm. Well, yeah, but they probably have like an area that they haven't like used yet. Or they, they, I mean, they kind of are. An area without apples. They use it for mud. And, you know, <laughs> you know who we're talking about, right? Yeah, it's fair. It's apple horse. Surprised they grow anything else. That and. Um, uh, I all the other shots have her in front of the barn, and this is her taking off right from that area. 
so I have to kind of uh, decide how. Um, oh, is that even something that's visible? Uh, I just kind of believe I'll go with it. Just kind of imagine the Apple family as a whole owns just like half of all farmland in Equestria. Maybe they own Ponyville. They they just don't. They're nice about it, but like one day they're just going to pop up into town and be like, "Okay, y'all gone." Bye bye. We're making more trees. Industrialization. I think it was Granny who said Ponyville wouldn't even exist without the Apple family. Well, not existing without and owning is not the same thing. Yeah. But they own a lot of the surrounding land. Hello, Rosie Femboy. Thank you for the host. There's one here just to fill those little gaps here. At this point, I don't think it's going to matter too much on any on angle. Bam, grass done there. And then just a little bit on... This is like one one habit thing I took me forever to get into, but I really like. It's the fact that these both are two screens. And if I want to get it to this hill, I can grab it up here, shift click it to the hill, and then move on this one. <laughs> Getting in the habit of... Um, Using one window to re help reposition into viewing range of the other window actually really comes in handy. Um, actually, yeah, like, well, here it wouldn't matter, but I can wish. I think getting, I think there's just a couple more spots right here, and then, like, even here, I could probably just do it like this. Just whatever. It's probably not doing perfect on there. It's really hard to see. Oh, actually, I think I might have to have those float a little bit. I don't think you're going to notice. Uh, I'm going to put one down there. <laughs> Since the apple fan becomes a real problem, they start planting nothing but apple trees across all of Equestria. And it's really, there's no other plants now, Applejack. Yeah. There's no ponies left. They're all apples. They're all apples now. Like she gets into genetic engineering and it just turns ponies turns into apples. Everybody into apples. It's like, but then who will eat the apples? It's like we shall eat ourselves. I think I read a, like a page from a comic where uh, some mad scientist was turning everybody into dinosaurs. One of the heroes was oh, like, "That was on yesterday." Oh yeah, in our chat, somebody yeah. posted. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, but I want to turn everybody into dinosaurs. It's like you could have cured cancer. <laughs> Priority. I think. Other right. than I think this little. Yeah, this little spot right here, I'm just going to add something to. And then this little hill of grass is done. I love this cheater grass. I do like the other grass more, the one I generally use, because that one has way better detail. Uh, compared to this grass, uh, but if I do it in patches, I can still at least make it look like she's running it over, which is the important thing. And I do, I do, I want to have like tire tracks, but I can't. I mean, you got to do what you can do, right? It's, I mean, and if the grass wasn't, one tractor going over the grass isn't going to leave tire tracks if the grass is in good shape. I know. It's going to press down the grass, but that's it. I could... If I were able to find out the texture just right, I could make a texture that was arcing just like that with the tire tracks, make it a negative light, shine it down at it, and then as she was going over over it, uh, have it be shadowed and have it show up as it goes around the, the spectrum. It would work. But um, if I do it here, then I have to do it in all shots, and that's where it gets complicated. Here you go, Mike. Be racist Stop. saying you're being a stubborn old mule. I was gonna say no, but in in Equestria, would that be racist? They do. They do say uh, you're being you're being a mule, and then they would look over at, like mules and be like, "No offense." They'd be like, "None taken." I love us. I but I kind of feel like they did it enough times to where those mules should, probably should have started being offended. <laughs> you're being evicted. Reason you are not an apple tree. Well, no, she knows all the people in government now too. So like. <laughs> Yeah. She's, she'll get the law passed that not being an apple tree is considered reason for eviction. Like, Applejack's humble, but her family and her political ties make her probably one of the more, like, influential and powerful individuals in all of Equestria. That right here. She's, she's just yeah. humble about it. No, she's not humble. 
she just knows how to stretch her power correctly. <laughs> so like, you're, she's just biding her time. If you, if all you do is take, 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 people are gonna catch on. But if you're very particular, didn't they name an entire town after the Apple family? Like with the, her cousin founding it? Maybe Apple family. Yeah, the family as a whole is huge, and they own. And if you think about it, she's just like her whole family has that whole farm thing. Like they always try to make like like they're just six normal horses, and there's nothing special about them. But then you actually look into their life and like, you have everything. You've had everything. The think... family has owned the farm, has this huge history. We basically own everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you now you're like a leader of the government, and like. No, I feel like her aunt and uncle aren't any richer. The her aunt and uncle Orange aren't any richer or poorer than any of the other Apple family. It's just that they moved into the city with their wealth. What is the or, name? The, the name of the of a person that spends beyond their means to give the imagery of wealth. Not sure, but I know what you're talking about. I have heard of that before. Um, oh. Where I think. I think Applejack just does the opposite, where like the Apple fan, they have money, but it's all in like land. They just own like vast amounts of land. Vast tracts of land. Um. Ah, uh, that's it. Uh, there's an actual term. Applejack is going to start lobbying for laws in order to maximize profits. She's doing it. You just you haven't heard it. She's just being very sneaky. Who else got got to set up a, a booth to sell <laughs> food at the gala? Yeah, it's because she, she knew people. I mean, really, that would probably be considered illegal in a lot of places. <laughs> she just kind of set up her booth. Yeah, like she's like, who's the only one that has it? Oh, it's my best friend. Then, well, did you? How, that would be considered a like, conflict of interest. Yes. No, it's a pastry. Everybody's friends. I mean, it was pretty weird. I mean, she set up a food a food booth where you had to pay money at a at a banquet hall where the food was free. But she's special. She's breaking lots of laws. She doesn't have a license. Look what she's doing. Okay, so I am liking these hills. Some of these back ones don't care. Can't see them enough. Uh, so there's not a worry. I uh, think this camera is set up correctly for motion blur. <laughs> it is. Okay. It's just, I feel like she's still a little blurred in her motion. Actually, no, because she's moving straight away from the camera. It's not too bad. Right here, it gets a little worse because she's definitely moving to the side. But even then, when she gets this far, ah, it'll work. Um... Okay, if you know Gundam pretty well, which means Gundam, do you think each of the main six would pilot? I have, I know that Gundams are robots, mm -hmm. I see. and they are big, um, and pew pew, and and the, I think one had a sword, and then like the, the, the yes. smack thing, um, and then like I think one was like white and red and something. Mm -hmm. Um, I've seen Mobile Suit Gundam, and not all of it. Yeah, I, I, I saw a couple episodes, though I have no recollection of much of it, where like, they're like, all the nations just launched themselves into space and was immensely or supremely, like, nation racist. Like, it's like, what is the, like, extreme, most far, far-fetched thing you can remember about this country? Yeah, we're gonna make a Gundam out of it. <laughs> I remember Power Rangers really well. They had a big robot. Uh, yeah, but that was cooler. Yeah, well, Power Rangers was awesome. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I need trees now. So we're gonna put all the grass in the hole. Oh, no, that's. I don't want the grass run over. What am I doing? That. Eating this sandwich is making me want to make those liverwurst. No, Limburger. There's yeah, liver. No. Liverwurst and Limburger cheese sandwiches again. No. They were good. Oh, they smelt like poop. Mm -hmm. and they... It's like, yeah, you, you, you can have a food that might taste decent, but if yeah. you smother it in the smell of poop, it still is there when you're chewing. Limburger cheese and liverwurst sandwiches with onions are the single best food on the planet. Uh-huh. No. No, that's, that's like, that's Chinese food. I could eat Chinese food or curry. I think they're all on par. No, you just said it's the single best. Like it was like 
This is the absolute best thing ever yeah. made. They'd be like, how about this? Same level. <laughs> I would say if you were to put the three in front of me right now, I'd pick up the Limburger, the Limburger, the worst. Even though you just ate an entire sandwich, mashed potatoes, and more ham. I don't want to eat it right now. I'm just saying, if you put it in front of me right now, that's the one I would want the most out of anything else. Because there's a lot of flavor there. Limburger cheese is about as a super flavorful cheese. Well, Limburger yes. is a super flavorful cheese. If you take something that tastes delicious, and you take something that tastes delicious and also smells rank, the other one will have a wider variety of flavor. <laughs> I'm not going to quite say it's better. It is good. I think of a mobile, mobile fighter G Gundam. Yeah, probably. I have no idea on Gundam. I actually used to be kind of a fan of um, uh, mech type games and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I still have Front Mission 4 over Armored there. Core Best Front great. Mission. Armored Cores were great. Um, mech Warrior was mech, one, but I never got into that one. It's a slower paced Armored Core. Yeah. Uh, there was a new game that came out not long ago, like Machina X Damon or something, that was uh, basically Armored Core. Uh, I had played the demo of it and it was pretty cool. I just don't think it was worth the price. Um, but, uh, you know, I used to be a big fan of that stuff. I just haven't touched it in a long time now. This is just most of what most of those types of games changed and like Front Mission changed completely and it's not the same game at all anymore. Um, and Armored Core is gone. I don't, what happened to Armored Core? I'm kind of... It was PS3, but... Did it just bomb? It... I think what killed it was online play, and the overall single-player story just got more, less and less important and shorter. And they tried to focus on the online play, but the online play wasn't that good. You'd think it would be good, but everybody just kind of figured out a single mech design that was better than any other mech design. Well, that's and then everybody game. just copied it. It's min maxing. That's what the whole game part yeah. about balancing things out. But in early internet, uh, patching was a more much more of a difficult process. Yeah. Now patching is is super easy, uh, and they can constantly change things. But not then. Not a lot of fun in the car, but I think the last Armored Core game came out for the PS3. I could be wrong. The last one I played was on the PS2. Ah. Um, no, Limburger cheese is great. You just got to get past the smell. It tastes really good. It does. It's probably the single most, like, flavorful cheese there is. Other than that actually tastes Again, that's like, yes, there's a lot of flavor. It, you're not saying good flavor. You're just saying there's a it's lot of good. flavor. Limburger no. cheese is good flavor. Like, I would say blue cheese is bad flavor, but mixed with the right thing, it's really good. Yeah, blue cheese, blue cheese is, it's good with spicy foods. Really good it's good mixed with other things. You don't want to eat it by itself. Well, yeah, but I don't just like sit down with a hunk of cheese. I did buy a big thing of blue cheese one time. Just tried to eat it on crackers. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Why'd you do that? Because I thought it'd be good. I was wrong. Lesson learned. Hello, Blur. Oh, God. You got to ban him. Hey. <laughs> well, hello. Me trying to press the button. How, how are you? I would say how you're doing, but you already answered that question. Uh, He's spamming. I heard food. Give me. He just ate all the food. I did eat all. He the has food. alcohol. I do. Why aren't you drinking alcohol? Because I, I had, I got really late on my coffee, so I, and I kind of needed it. So I'm just finishing that before I have anything. I might have a tea afterwards. Um, I might have a tea. How is the jinx going? It looked it looked pretty good. It looks professional. Uh, it's uh, I, I am enjoying it. The thing about yeah, like an online mobile suit or Gundam game um, sounds like it could be fun. But the problem with Armored Core was it was super customizable, and the whole the whole deal was that each person could customize their 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 mech to fit their play style but once everybody found out uh the best 
playstyle slash mech, then everybody just copied it. Yeah, but that's any, any multiplayer it got, that way. It was cool that's, when it was like just you and your friend. That's why, to me, MMOs are the greatest when they first come out. Nobody knows the min-max, nobody knows the meta. You, they just jump in, you grab whatever drops, and you use it, and it's exciting and it's fun. And then later on, everybody learns about all the best equipment, and then you're there. They start doing looking for party. You have to have this certain gear, but you can't have that gear unless you're with the party that is requesting that gear. So it's it's just then six cycle on stuff, and it's kind of annoying. But it, uh, um, yeah. Um, can you restart her face? I thought the face looked fine. I, I mean, I, uh, it's kind of like, I know that when people like watch some of the stuff when I do it, I'll like, they'll be like, hey, it looks good. Is it done yet? I know Michael said that multiple times. I'm like, no, I'm like halfway there. And he's like, what else do you have to do? And I, that was watching you work on this stuff. I'm like the same way. I'm like, I think it looks good. What do you have to, left to do? I mean, and then you're like, no, I got to do this. <laughs> I still think you need to put a juice box in her tractor. But... No. Because she but doesn't drink juice. Thirsty. She eats the apples. Did she drink apples? Why would she process the apples? She needs. She's thirsty. She's that was. She needs apple photo. Yes. Uh, I mean her texture. Her texture looks fine. It's it's, it's cartoony. I I think that looked good. You could always uh. uh you could always give her a couple mustaches. Um. And, uh, like at least like three. Uh, can you give your booby mustaches? I don't even want to know what that is. Maybe it's probably a thing, and I don't want to search it. My only thought about Applejack, though, is that if a horse ate nothing but apples, they would not live long, it would kill them. Horses aren't supposed to have a lot of sugar in their diet. I wonder if she's fine. She's there. She's evolved. <laughs> I hope so, because the way some of those horses eat, like we're just gonna eat like a box of cupcakes today. Too close to the US, I think. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, they, you don't have to put it like you got the clothing. It's it's so it's a bra bra mustache. You stop. You need, um, bra for your mustache. <laughs> they should make those. They probably do. It's like. Yeah, um, mustache. Clean. You know, like like the, the the hats that you put on when you go in the pool, like mm -hmm. those flat ones. Just get one for the mustache. Just, it's it's like a it's like a bikini stash. Just far distant future mustaches are considered like lewd, and you just you like cover up that mustache, sir. Think of the children. Yes. Hairy nipple character sounds interesting. I don't I'm glad that that's know. what was grasped on to. Some like buff dude, like one of those like 1920s weightlifters, but he's just got his nipples just have mustaches. So that's how manly he is. Mm. It's pretty manly. And every time he like perks, it like, <laughs> he just like the wiggles, he twirls himself. himself. Yeah, he's got a little sweet, got a little pearl mustache. In there. So blurred this weekend. Where you were in? And I heard you weren't feeling well before. What was that? Like, you know, hope you didn't have a cold or something. Or was it a cold? Or was it like? A, did you trip on the stairs? Um, did you shatter your skull? Hmm? I hope not. <laughs> he got better. He got better. Like, yeah, I gotta be careful with these trees. The grass, when I shift click it, it's gonna go to the top of the grass. I need to make sure I actually put it into the grass. Some of these back here aren't gonna matter. Oh, these ones are flat to the ground. Those I don't have to care about. Those this trees one. don't have apples in them. They're actually called apple trees, though. Mm -hmm, they do look like that does look like apple blooms. But if you're asking me to go through and now place individual apples on these trees, well, it wouldn't make sense. You can do it on takeover or something. It wouldn't make sense because there's apple blooms in the trees right now, so there wouldn't be apples. I feel like, like you only know that because, like, because I've lived on. I thought you had like looked up, like apples, mm -hmm. apple history, uh, because of like horses. No, we uh, we used to have lots of apple trees back when I, where I grew up. 
Oh no. I mean, you're putting apples on the trees now. I don't know. It wouldn't make sense. <laughs> How did you. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, you would have that point. Okay. As you don't have. You're not getting anything done today. No. No. I got. Actually, I put trees down. So I did. I did pretty good. Now, okay. Now we'll have to make it better. I need that. Oh wow, that went down the wrong tube. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna double check. Save. Okay. I think we're gonna break your stuff. <clears throat> okay, this is where. Yeah, I'm gonna. What? Did I get ham on the floor? I don't know, but you put it on my floor and it's goopy. You get you get a little too excited? I did. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> well. Here we are again. We're gonna improve this video, and I'm sure whatever I do to this video at this point will make final cut. So first things first, we gotta get a good horse. Get. Oh, I gotta start a timer. Why are you gonna start a timer, bro? I'm just gonna control the rest of the stream. And also, screw you, blurred. I know I made the, I may put it in there, but you, you're not supposed to spend it. Oh my God. Um. It's supposed to be like a havoc. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna change it to like five hundred thousand points. I have somebody would still save up for it. Um, oh, I forgot to put my light on. What light? All your lights are on. Oh, that light. You always forget. I know I was too. Uh, where's okay? Well, I gotta find my. You just can't do anything yet. I haven't started the timer. Okay, I'm not doing anything. Okay, now you can. Wait, you you cheated. No. Derpy, I need to go over here. Something off the tractor. And, oh, we need some more stuff. New model. It's gonna crash. Let me guess more derpy. No. No, that one shouldn't, You, it shouldn't crash. I'll say that, but you probably will find a way. Hold in. animation set. I want to paste animation set. So now we have... Do I just drag it on Applejack or do I try to drag Applejack on this side? Um... Oh, she's flying away. Whoa, what are you doing to her? Oh, um, one week of Mike. Uh, SFM coach chicken? Chicken. Thank you. At least I get to torture him. Why, why do you guys all want to see me get tortured? Jack's about the socks. And. What you got sure. socks for? Uh, she got socks to sock with you, chicken. You can't chew through socks! I mean, you can. But, no. Why is chicken. Why is chicken. So you can't run away! On? There we go. Um. But you already told me I can't really, like, add color to these socks, and that's upsetting Make it. to me. Wow. Do you have to change the texture? No. But how do you add color? Look. Eyes up here, bud. <laughs> There's only this much in here. <laughs> that's Derp. a good guess. Derps. Thank you. Know. Derps. Yay. All right. All right. You right click the model. All right, all right, okay. Add override material. Up, 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 up. Yep. Congratulations. Okay, now what? Oh, you need more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now right click, go to set an element viewer or or shut element viewer. You can figure it out. You're a big boy. Element? What? Show, Show an element. element viewer. Uh -huh. And choose the middle one. Model? Yep. Now go to the left. Wait. Yeah, let's scroll down. See materials? Can you spell? No, chicken. That one, yay. 
All right. Now hit it. Go to solid. Wait, are you? Yes. Wait, go this stripe. Go to stripe. Yeah, yeah, that one. No. Mm -hmm. Um. Right click the green thing. No, higher. Yep, yep. Go yay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, but <laughs> add a tribute. You make a chicken sound smart. Chicken no. Go chicken to vector three. Doesn't sound smart. Vector three. Oh, uh, vector three. No, that is that is the it says array. Vector three array. No, that's yeah. Does that's that this is chicken was supposed to be smart. I said vector three, not vector three array. You're adding shit to my. I think. Chicken. This. You don't you don't get my friend wing. What? You don't want it. So now what? Chicken. Chicken took my leg. Good. I want to eat it. Baby. <laughs> I want to pickle those feet. <laughs> All right, a change new attribute uh -huh. to the money uh, money sign. This is a lot of work just to change the color of the color. Socks. Okay. Okay. Now s see the zeros. Yeah. What color do you want? I said, what color do you want? Don't just. I'm, not, I'm, I'm playing. Oof. It's <laughs> <laughs> cool. Don't touch it. <laughs> Radioactive. <laughs> she, ate, she ate too many apples. Too many apples. <laughs> Gave her magic powers. Okay. That's, um, that's fine. No, no, it's on a 111, not 255 scale. That works. Just, just put one. And then. There you go. Well, you could. Not in glowy. You could, the higher you put it, the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go three. Ooh. 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 See, mm. that's cool. But mm. Mm, let's, let's go like one over here. And that's not so cool. I like that. Let's go back to zero. And then we'll turn this one to three. That's cute. That's pink. Okay. Now, Derpy. Get when you Derpy. Um, Socks gained age of control over her birth when he met. Yes. Chicken is just going to critique my Gordon Ramsay so, style. Just, like, <laughs> open noses. I, do I, I need two slices of bread. And Derpy got get her, her legs up. These are all permanent changes to this video, everyone. Like, it, no, no, everything I'm doing here. Would remain. It's not, no, no. Because they are better than what was here before. Why do we have to give you control? I could get take like thirty minutes and guess everything. Yeah, chick, chick. What, wait, wait, what is she? They're, they're. This is getting lewd. No, we're not lewd. It's cute. You wouldn't know. The chickens are bad judges of what is cute. Well, th thank you, Jules. I appreciate it. Yay, Jules. How are you doing? So wait, I didn't see soup. No, Did I miss soup? Where's soup? Like oh, you put st you put beef. I must have missed the baby said it before. Okay. But th thank you very much. I'll buy chicken nuggets. Wait. I just thought about what that meant. I'm getting lonely. I'm looking for the scrunch face. I need friends. Where is scrunch face? What's scrunch face called? It's like this. No, chicken. Scrunch. I want. She got smirk, frown, we got big rim, we got open. We got, oh, nose wrinkle. Here we go. Wrinkle. <laughs> now she's got a little close up. Also, vision point points. I don't know. I don't have a. I, I don't. I don't know. What is that supposed to do? I don't have anything with that. Oops. She pooped an apple jacks. Got it. You know what? I almost forgot. This is very, very important. What? Very important. Don't you look at me, chicken. You're, you're a bad chicken. You're a bad evil chicken. Don't look at me then. Treat me with respect. No, you're you're KFC and waiting. 
What? KFC and waiting chicken. <laughs> You're more Kentucky than I am. We'll see after you're in that bucket. Put you in a coffin. <laughs> no one eats from coffins. Hmm? No one eats from coffins. No, I'm not gonna be nice to this chicken. This chicken is like, I'm pretty sure is a murderer. I done nothing wrong. Murdered chicken. Um, yes, okay. You just ate a pig. Yeah, it was delicious. And then threw it on the floor. It's right there. These are two spots. Open. No. <laughs> Why is this chicken plaguing me? You ever heard of a parrot? Uh, yeah, well, they're actually cool birds, unlike chickens. Ten more, ten more soup. Thank you, Jules. Here, this, this is derps. This has been needed for a while now. He refuses to give Applejack her juice. Do you ever wonder if Celestia and Luna are jealous that thanks to Michael Derpy has a larger harem than you do? Or than they do? <laughs> do you ever wonder if Celestia and Luna are jealous. are jealous that thanks to Michael Derpy has a larger harem? Michael Derpy has a larger harem than they do. Yes. Derpy gets all the mares. It's true. It's because she's so cute. What about chickens? We want chickens, except like hungry people. There. Why do you talk? Why? Why do you puppet chicken? You're just jealous. You don't have a hand up your ass. I mean, some days. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, don't you start. <laughs> Look, I gotta position these two horses so that they 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 boop in each other's nose. But let's take it so long. Let's take it so long. She needed juice. I had to get her juice. Thirty ten minutes in, and all I've done is touch. No, I gotta fix Applejack's face too, cause she's got like uh, a weird. She's got an accurate representation of the situation. What's happening? No, <laughs> I don't think that works. Like ten thousand soup to give to people. Who's soup? Mm. Is that what that is that what you're calling? It? Is that is that soup? A soup chicken is the best. Mm. Oh, thank you very much. Chicken, chicken is not the best. Chicken is a bad chicken. Chicken is full of hate for everyone and everything that you ever loved. Yep. And the problem with that? No chicken is holy. Is this where the religion Praise chicken, be chicken. This is where the, the, the religion of chicken starts. You chicken, I will eat you, bitch. Joseph? I mean, that is what you do with chickens, is you eat them. Don't, don't start nothing, this chicken. You, I bet you, do you have chicken in the fridge? You well, just, I mean, we do. Better lock the door. It's delicious. Chicken is the best friend anyone could ask for. Yeah. Yeah. See, Chicken likes you. No. Aww. Chicken is plotting my murder as we speak. Why are you all like... Maybe. Liking Chicken. Yeah. You gotta... You know, the chicken... Why... The Chicken is trying to murder me. <laughs> hey, Ace. It's keeping me... My knowledge has come! No. <laughs> No! I'm trying to make these horses happy. Yeah. Why Why won't you let these horses be happy? I hey, fight you chicken, let's, let's bring it on. I'll take you on. I need to fix that for the next place. Um. She's got like too much weird stuff going on. How do I just default her face? No. Do I have to slide everything back? Chicken, stop. No. Chicken. No one loved you. Like ever. No. 
Yeah. It was like a kick, a kick. Being possessed by poultry guys. Just because you took over doesn't mean you can't suffer. What are you trying to say that when you're over here, you suffer? Or that I'm over there is that I suffer? Life is pain. Who's suffering? Like, on a general day-to-day -day basis. Is it you or me? Because now I think there's, like, divide. Are we all in pain? I mean, a little bit. That's why we have aspirin. And drugs. Yeah. I mean, aspirin is a drug. Mild one. So is caffeine. You can like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's true. I'm gonna have a little bit. Like you're now like scrunched up, like waiting for the moment. I would be too. I'm terrified of chicken. No, well, they gotta stick their tongues out. You will die, chicken. I will fry you up and serve you with mashed potatoes and gravy. Look at this. Look at this cuteness. I need to move her. I know where you sleep. Yeah? Not you. It's not always about you! <laughs> well, you know... Yeah, it is. What are you talking about? It's always about me. Protect chicken. He's... Joseph, is... Joseph is being angry or very mean to chicken. I know I'm delicious. I have keep a steady diet of... You don't want to know. Don't want to know. Whatever he doesn't eat. He's trying to line her up better. Okay, there we go. Like, There's so nothing how to fear but fear itself. And chicken. Oh god, now chicken. <laughs> so, like, how do I uh, link Applejack or Derby so that she moves with Applejack throughout this scene? Like, right now, she's. To what like, degree? Like, I want her to stay there on the tractor. Okay. So you want her locked to the tractor? Yes. Okay. So, lock her to the tractor. Should I just drag the tractor onto her? Find it. Uh, maybe. No, oh, no, no, no. Stop, stop. stop. Okay. So, no. Yep, yep. No, no, no. Lock transforms. No, 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 good. No, stop, stop. We click. Click the, the gray horse. She will not be named. Her name is. Now, Playhead. Adorable. Playhead. Playhead. All the way. More. More. Oh, it goes anymore. More. I think it's done. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. What? Should be it. She's locked in the tractor now? Holy crap. Look at that. <laughs> She's like, boom, boom. It's like, there are horses and love. What? Like, the, the juice box. The juice but box needs to be locked. The tractor. Is it juice box? Yeah. Of course it's a juice box. I had to give Applejack her juice box. Is it for Applejack? It is for, it's for both. Or is it for them. Derby? They both get juice. But, they will, they but will there's share. only the juice box. Share. You can never have a juice box! As, as lovers do. You can never have just one juice box. Right. You can have like a six pack. I mean, six pack. What is this? It's a cute picture right there. It looks like one of them's on mouth. No. Like, I need to, like, um. Derpy needs to come up with Sauce. Um, safety sandwich. I tried, I'm trademarking that. Don't take it. Like changing the color of the socks is very hard. Mm -hmm. I because you need skill. <laughs> I'll beat up this chicken. No, <laughs> no chicken. Chicken, stop. You started it. No <laughs> chicken. Assault. <laughs> Salt! I'll give her at least stripey socks. Yes. I need salt. You need salt? He's, he's a little dry. No. You stop this. You stop this evil chicken. 
Let me fix their ears. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're floppy. They're fine. Just move the timeline. Wow, fix. Wow. If somebody no. with skill would know that. No, they're not. There we go. Well, now, about now, our, now our hair over here is... It's bald. okay. It helps accentuate the bad features about her. No, there's no bad features about Derby. It's every feature. She's a good horse. Look at that. Look. Applejack loves her. That's that doesn't love. It's because you made them love her. No, they did this on their own. I just sat and watched it happen. That's really creepy. <laughs> you want a cigarette? Jesus Christ! So what now? Because <laughs> I I've already improved this video. You first. have um eleven minutes. Eleven minutes. Chat. Yep. What should I do in eleven minutes? It's up to you. Chat. I think it needs a chicken. It doesn't need- oh, fine. I mean, you can, like, get a chicken. Get a chicken. I like what Brownie said. Make Chicken King. Chicken King? In John Deere Green, on a hot summer night, she wrote, Derpy Who's Loves Applejack, in three letters three foot high, and the whole town said that she'd have- uh, he should have used red. But it looked good to Applejack in John Deere, John Deere Green. What? I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> we got this chicken. And we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna bring it over here. And went under the ground. We can't have that now. Wow. Wait, what? Wait, where is this chicken? Why is it so deep under the ground? Let's drag it while holding shift. Did it go back under the ground? It did. Hold shift. Okay. So we got chicken. Yay! And we're gonna move the timeline Ooh. forwards. Let's go back in again. Ooh. We're gonna... It's a hottie. Can you can you ask her number? Uh, I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that chicken. Wait, 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 wait. Like, Michael. Mm hmm. How do I, uh, like, do I hold We shit? have two cars downstairs. <laughs> you're I, gonna be under to, one of them. To animate this chicken, I just, like, kind of hold shift and, like, scroll up, right? Or scroll to a certain direction. Like, gotta help me out here, chicken. Well, I need to animate this. <laughs> No! Chicken does need to die, you're right. Kite? No. I thought Kite's you were just gonna, lyrics to a country song from the 90s. Ah! No, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna sort of move the timeline forward and we're just gonna. Like. Rotate. <laughs> so that it's, it's clearly being crushed by the wheels of the Derby and Applejack. Like. Look at those faces. And look at that dead chicken. Those faces? Dead chicken? Those faces. Very dead chicken. Like, that chicken is very squished. Uh -huh. It's just like pinned under the tire. I think your date. How many siblings did you have? Um, How many tires are in your car? <laughs> I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't worry about such things. Um, Stop it, Joseph. We didn't know, nobody asked you! Oops. It's our chicken secret service uniforms. We need to keep ch chicken safe. There, are, are there chicken secret service uniforms? What do they look like? KFC uniforms. You need to... Um... Derpy wants to fight. She's not even driving. Not yet. Open. Then, um... Oh my god, there's two of them. Yes. Where's... Who even is the Applejack? <laughs> you and I will fight. I'm made, I'm made of cotton. Good luck. I put a I put a brick in here. I'm like... <laughs> Why is chicken abusive? Why are you Michael? 
Sorry, honey, I'm born this way. All I need is a knife. There we go. You're not mass-produced. I am. So there are more of me than you will ever know. Now Derpy is in the driver's seat, as she should be. Oh my god. Yes. Three. Hope for humanity is lost, and that pleases me. I deserve one eye, kind of. Um. Shouldn't she be driving? No, oh, she's busy, like. They, they, Isn't she moving? No, they, I mean, they're going on movies. Like, um, that seems going, dangerous. Wait, Are you going to show um, this to children? Like, how do I just have it on a loop? On a loop? Yeah, but. But once is already too much. Oof. Look. Yeah. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Right, well, Click off of that. No. Put your mouse over there again. Uh-huh. No, no. On the, on the, on the, by the work camera. There, right, right there. Right there. That button. Nope, nope, nope. Down. Click it. Okay, now. Please. Okay. Now. No, no. Okay. Now. Hit period. Hit it again. And again. And again. And again. And again. No, and again. I want it faster. I want to go slower than that. It's, I hit this one? No, no, no. no. It's like controller shift with period. I want to change this camera to the main camera. Just go. Oof. The Oof. derp go vroom vroom. Yeah, this is a little bit stuff. Look at that. <laughs> uh, oh no. It's the realism. It's so real. It is very real. Chicken, you don't even know. They're running over the chicken over there. Over, over. <laughs> They're packing up them for it. <laughs> they go, squish, 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 squish. Take that chicken, you, you dumb bird. That's not me. I mean, it could be. If we all wish hard enough. Okay. Well, you have uh, five more minutes. Oh, so we got five minutes of just running over this chicken with these two derpies that are like scrunched open. Oh my god. This is this is a good this is a good day. Hold on. Hold on. We can improve it. Chat, what do you want? Chicken is This, this is your thirty minutes. No. I'm asking chat what they want. Team Derby has murdered chicken everybody. Second Derp isn't following tractor safety. She's gonna fall off and under the tractor. <laughs> she will no. join the chicken. She got wing. She can fly if she falls. So did the chicken! The chicken is dead. The chicken is <laughs> dead. I want I want to eat juice. I we, we could we could have the the apple jacks eat juice. Like we want the apple jacks with the derpies. We gotta get the uh work camera and we could just like I want to eat juice. I love eating juice. Careful. It is my favorite solid. Chicken no. Chicken is bad chicken. Michael. Watch. Michael. Watch. Chicken. No. Chicken, I'm trying to give these horses juice. They need more juice. They need glue. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. They have glue. The glue that holds them together in their loving embrace? Nope. The kind that comes when you melt them down. Okay, I can't. I can't make them. Look, this, this one. Here. Oh, shit. Hey, you guys want a chicken. Ooh. Okay. Poor Michael, he's so henpecked. I am. I'm I'm being abused by this chicken. Please send help. Hey, he said he's in charge. It doesn't mean he gets to, like, Wait, why write all the rules. Chicken's in charge. Why can't I move the juice no more? Does mm. this. The juice is broke. Why is juice broke? Chicken. I know why. Why? We need to click in here. Oh, that's not working. We need to click over here. Go back to the timeline. Uh huh. Hit Control A. Oh. Um, I just want. <laughs> Cause you moved it. 
And now you're seeing where you moved it to. It's over here now. I was forced to see the chicken. You have been blessed. The chicken scares me. So now I'm going to just, just turn the gears and just... Let's get this. Let's get this. I need like a second straw. I'm going to make it both drink. Juice. Or I could just be like... There's COVID. No. Don't share straws. Uh, well, it says that's a straw, so we'll just open that and see what we get. Can I miss you? Chickens. You had chickens? What were your chickens' names? No, chickens don't have names. They have food one and food two. Bu okay, Grandma. Bucket of KFC. Toss you in a gutter. Chicken. You are a bad chicken. I'm not disputing that. Chicken gets that. One from the Mr. B. No bad chicken. <laughs> You're not as cool as Jeremy. <laughs> Chicken, no. Okay, Join the Derpy Collective Resistance Feudal. See, now they both have straws. <laughs> he will drink them just together. <laughs> <laughs> time yes it is time. time but i want i want chat to take a moment and just appreciate this picture that has been made i want here. it's gonna be deleted in four seconds Okay, well, we took a screenshot of it. No, you haven't. Um, how do I save this? You built your own computer and you can't figure out how to take a screenshot. There we go. Well, we will um, save this as best part of this video. <laughs> we deleted it. And we are gonna save it. And now we have that. No! <laughs> look, they're sharing that juice together. The two derbies. They're, they're, look at the, the. That is cute. No, stream cuteness. No, you, you can hide the chair. Oh, well, I mean, leave, leave this in, though, right? Yep. You're gonna leave this in? Yep. Mm hmm. Okay, good. This nope. is the best part. No, what do you mean? Take your chair back. <laughs> <laughs> this is adorable. Joseph. Come on, come on. And super sweaty. <laughs> I wonder why. Chicken is really me meaty fat. Is that only life therapy? That is, they're sharing the, the juice. No, that's good. That's good stuff right there. He's ruining the best video ever. What are you doing? I figured you just load your safe. <laughs> no, <laughs> you monster. <laughs> You're a monster. No chicken. <laughs> no. <laughs> chicken is evil. I tried to warn all of you. No chicken is no evil chicken. 
They just wanted to share juice together. <laughs> the derps. You heard the derps. Chicken gnome. This is what you get for liking chicken. Chicken is evil. No. They left their juice. They didn't even get to take their juice with them. It's too fast, your games. <laughs> no! Those derpies, at least they died holding hoops. They just loved one another. In the arms of the angels, fly away. From here, you sound like you're goofy trying to say, the In the storm. arms of the angels, far away from uh -huh. here. Huck. Endlessness, such a fail. You were brought from the wreckage of your silent revelry. In the arms of the angels, you find. I, your derby. Okay, so now yeah. they're see they're they're fine. Oh, why is she sad now? Because she got well, you know that that thing has something to do with you know the the running of her. Why? Well, you must hurt best horse. It's because chicken is jealous of best horse. No. Chicken is not best. There we go. See, it's perfect. Chicken is bad. It's perfect. <laughs> you want to chicken bad. It's like, like <laughs> everyone should unsubscribe to Argo Daemon <laughs> immediately. Like, this is. See, it took you like all that time to make like that whole thing, and I did that in like 30 seconds. I mean, I made a much better than video than you, and it just took me uh, like 30 minutes. As opposed to, uh, like days. Mm hmm. Like, now you're stealing my idea. Oh, killing derpies? No. Mm. Like, you would leave derpies alone. <laughs> but derpy is best horse. And he's hurting her. He hurt derpy. Why? My time now. No. I'm too sad. <laughs> no. no, why you got, you got scissors? It's dangerous. Chicken, no. It's not working out for you. It seems painful. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out chickens aren't very good at uh, like folding. <laughs> chickens are very sharp at arts and crafts. Yes. Apparently they're good at hurting derbies. Oh, I love how this is just still going too. Yeah, you're a horrible person. Oh no, no, they're in love again. I don't know if you hit save, so I back it up. I don't think I did. No. Derpies. You're making this is actually one of the reasons. <laughs> it's a clone. This is one of the reasons that. No way. And then she comes. <laughs> um, this is one of the reasons that actually uh, SFM crashes a lot is because it basically keeps your history for infinite time. So mm -hmm. eventually, just off a button pushes, it will crash from running out of memory. How do ponies hold scissors? There's a lot of things that would be how do ponies do blank? Um, it's actually one of the reasons that one of our favorite, um, uh, or when we made the, um, uh, the the Iron Pony uh, game, one of my favorite cards for there is for a challenge for the ponies. The challenge is start a car without magic, and it's so funny because you had to think about it, and then you're like, oh yeah. But for and there are some of the creatures that have hands, and so they have an innate advantage on the challenge. And I would just imagine you have to work around it. Everything would just be designed for ponies, like 
things wouldn't but, work the same way that we I know, but, but everything in their world is essentially an equivalent to ours, which doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, so even so. guns. Like, just take you have guns. I know, but like in a photo equestria, even that method of a gun doesn't make any sense. Well, that's why a lot there's the models for the mouth grips too. Yeah, but the mouth grips don't make any sense. It's still taking a human designed gun and then just modifying it to work in such a way. But if you were designing from scratch, the battle saddle is more accurate to potential. Yeah. But even more than that, it would probably have some kind of like a weapon that would be like probably like attached to the side of the hoof that could be activated some other. I think that's how they did it in Australia. That's how the guns worked in Australia. It's actually uh, goes up the length of the arm and then the trigger is they just move their hoof yeah, like this. I can see that being like auto triggered incorrectly, um, but there'd be a different trigger. <clears throat> but yeah. also, I mean, they're, they're horses. I don't think they should have guns. Um, chicken should not run with scissors. He might poke an eye out. Yeah. It's not his own eye. Chicken is evil? And I, yeah, I know, you keep no, saying that like it's a bad thing, but he knows it. You should know you're evil and be okay with it. Yeah. Like, you should have some sort of, like, motive that you evil, think is just. Evil is just a, uh, somebody picking... Uh, usually nobody is purely evil. They have Except good for reasons. Chicken. Well, they have good reasons for the things they do. Chickens are just for self-enjoyment. That's his only reason, but... <laughs> That's evil. No. He's just misunderstood. But, so I'm trying to figure out how to balance these trees out that's not going to overdo it. Uh, it's also really hard because I don't want. I want to make it feel balanced. Um, like even right here, it goes boom, boom, boom. It's like three in a row. But the thing is, is humans are really bad at random, and so any attempt of me placing things randomly is probably going to end up not being random. Actually, I believe it was humans have it. It's impossible for humans to make things random. Uh, if I close my eyes and throw something, and it all lands in a random position, isn't that random? No. Why not? It's that it, it was to say, like, if you were to say, if you were in a room and you were to throw an item in an infinite number of times or, or a large number of times, a pattern would emerge in the way you threw it. Because you eventually are going to start choosing a part of it over another. You're going to prioritize. If they told you to stand, stand still and throw something in a random direction a hundred times, you probably more than likely would throw more in one general area than another. But what if I just kind of flinged it around until it slipped loose randomly? Um, but if if you did that, how long you did it, and this, you probably would start doing it a consistent It would probably speed. change depending on how tired you were or how sweaty your palms got. But it's still, eventually a pattern would come out in it. It's, there's actually, um, there's a book you can buy, it's like but 30... But you you're not even controlling some of the, uh, some of the things that happen. You but there are other factors that are influencing your bid on it. It's not 100% random. There's still a pattern that could be pulled out of it. It's not always easy, but no, there's a book you can buy. It's like 30 or $40, and all it is is purely random numbers. And not numbers that a computer make. Computers can't make random numbers either. Yeah, no, they can't. Um, and so they, it's ended up being, it was a, a numbers based on the like uh, calculation of a certain thing from an atom. It was like to where it was basically 100% purely random, and uh, and you can get this pure book because then you can use it for reference in um, for building algorithms that are based on purely random number. It's kind of interesting, but it's actually the standard been for like decades to use that book. I think I'm very much into chaos theory. I don't think we can control enough things for anything not to be random. At least to some aspect. Nothing. I don't think that anything in the world is random. Anything, if you travel back far enough to some point, you can determine enough information to remake what that was and where it got to where it was. It's, I think that nothing or the world is deterministic on everything that happened before it and that there is zero things that are random in the world. Sounds like fate. Fate would be... Well, fate would mean that at that some point or another, it's like where you have a destiny and there's some higher power that's determining your direction. No, you still make choices, but the choice that you make is dependent on all the other culmination of other factors in your life prior to have you come to that decision. That 
that argues that everybody's running off logic and aren't just doing things for the heck of it. Well, no, you could be doing it for the heck of it, but the fact that you are was some based on you up to that point deciding that that was the best way to do something at that time. Like, what if you slip? What if you slip? Yeah. But ever the fact what of if that. You trip? But all the factors that led into it, the fact that uh, that that part of your body at that time failed or the that piece of the carpet had moved was happened because at some point before that something happened to that spot which then before that something happened to that spot nothing can yeah. just pop out of nothing no i'm not saying it popped out of nothing but you certainly weren't planning on it no you weren't planning on it but it, you didn't make a choice on that it wasn't but it didn't happen right well, you did you made a choice not to trip and it happened anyway well i know but you did your best to do it but it was saying that the, even the decision you made not to trip still led to a trip and there was that was what was always going to happen didn't have to happen. Well, because to me, any way to look at it other than that is putting humans at a larger and more important view. Uh, I don't think it, place. In the no, universe. I think it puts you at a smaller place because if everything's random and chaos, then nothing you do really matters. But if your choice that you're making is only based on just atoms in your brain and chemical fires yeah. making certain decisions and actions happen, I don't, that, even all that happened at random. No, it's not random. Like everything leading up to it, like their their place in this entire planet, like proteins collecting together just in the right way and a but that's way off but just in the chance. right way does it by chance is completely by chance a completely random by chance but, but chance mean just because something had a small chance does not mean it was random it means that it, it means that it's saying hmm, no it's like if you had a one percent chance of something happening and 99 percent of the other times it wasn't cha uh, it wasn't random but then that one percent chance it was random no, I'm saying it was always random, and it, it just happened to actually co coalesce randomly into something that so created random, a living cell. No, I don't think that... I mean, you're saying the same thing I am, but I think in a different way. No. Because it's, it's like the nature versus nurture type thing of, like, the things that I decide to do in my life are going to be dependent on all the all the, just the things up to then. I'm not going to make a choice that's going to go against everything in my life. No, but some things can be thrown into, like a wrench into a machine into your life, and then all of your... But, but the, the wrench, where did that wrench come from? I don't know. It came from somewhere. It didn't it did. pop up out of nothingness. No, it didn't pop up out of nothingness. So somebody made, somebody else made a diff, a choice that affected your... It might have not been their choice. They might have dropped it. Yeah, but why did they drop it? Because they, their hands were slippy? Because, because, because there was something wrong? Maybe it was too heavy? Yeah, but they didn't do it on purpose. But they didn't do it on... Because, on purpose and not, or not doesn't mean random. It did, Random means that without any input to anything, something happens. That's, the, that, that's like not a possible. Stroke. But a stroke is 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 a result of other things happening. It's a combination. Yeah, but even that so, could just be like, I don't know. I think everything is just one random thing knocking into the next random thing. We're all just bouncing around. Mm. I I always see life as one big DVD, and we're just that hit play with no way to hit stop. So everything that happened before and everything that happened after is one so somebody person. accidentally drops the DVD player. <laughs> if you destroy the universe, then that has nothing to do with the DVD itself. I'm just, we could all blow up any day. Yeah, I know, but you're saying stuff outside of the universe. You're like, oh, well, if the if 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 a higher being beyond our dimension came in and destroyed it, well, that's a that's a late like scare being. Well, then something be destroying a, the DVD would be a higher being. It could just be a supernova that went off on a nearby. A supernova star. would be on the DVD, and that and that would be a we would know. It's not like that's going to blow up at random. It's been cooking for billions of years. And it just happens to get to the point where eventually it could be. You know, there's nothing about fate on it. It's just saying that, like, um, it's impossible. It's like, what, the, there was one, it was a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, it was uh, um, the, the, the cake, the piece of pie or whatever, mm. that uh, you could extrapolate the entire universe from a slice of pie essentially the same thing of every one of those atoms came from somewhere and you were you were to follow them all back to some point you would eventually get to the beginning of the universe sure and therefore you could use that information to go all the way back through the rest of the universe and basically rebuild the entire universe from a single slice of pie sure but what happens to that pie after that we eat it it's like, yeah and, <laughs> like what if you don't eat it what if you planned on eating it something but, else happens but planning is no that's you're mixing up two different types of choices I think 
we don't really have all that much choice. No, and that I'll agree with. There's no such thing, or uh, you make a choice well, based on all your point. past, or all the past. Oh, uh, no worries. There's no such thing as random wiki randomness and mathematical probability. Um, yeah, it's, well, the hum humans are impossible at doing randomness. And there's some things that can be as qu as equivalent to random as we could possibly see it. But to say that um, you can have a random string of numbers, but to say that if that entire, if that sequence, if you were to go back 10 seconds in time and rewatch that sequence, it would be the exact same sequence in order. Um, that's where I'm coming with that. Um, where it can be random, but in that exact moment, it was the only thing that it could be. Up your random integers or uh, still form patterns. Yeah, I think the only the the well, best as far as computers in terms of computer. Sure. Yeah, a random number generator. If you're talking computers, is impossible because a lot of them are based on like system clocks and stuff. Yeah. Yes, I will agree. They got yeah, is impossible. But computers can't do random. I agree with that. Um, that's why they had to use like like atoms and stuff uh, to to actually make random or at least as close to random as they could. But even then, you go far enough out, maybe there is a pattern. We just don't know it, or maybe the pattern doesn't exist in a base 10 system where we're utilizing numbers that we invented to try to, hook, to determine it. Just got to hook up a computer to a game of like kids playing Hungry Hungry Hippo. This ball was flying every which direction. You can't control that. <laughs> no, but even then, when the balls drop, if you were to know the physics and the velocity like the, the of every single ball at every single moment, mm -hmm. you could calculate the... That's what a computer does. Yeah. When it when it when when you have a simulate physics, is it does that exact same thing. And it's just like saying that the world is just a simulation that's on play, and it's basing it on all the Those factors. Those kids are just slapping that thing as quickly well, as yeah, they can. Well, yeah, and then they're, getting, they're spreading disease. That's a kid's <laughs> <laughs> like, like, but thank you. it's like, like children. That's, There's disease spreading vermin. Yeah, if it wasn't for children, we'd be fine. We don't need children. What are, we, what are children good for? I don't know. Yes. Um, so no matter, no matter how random something is somewhere, we'll find logic in oh, it. Sure. Yeah. It, it, it depends on how, that's why it, there's logic and reason. But that's where if I'd see if you take that same property and keep moving it backwards, you basically could say that about the entire universe all the way back to a specific point. But that does mean then that um, with enough information, you could determine the whole future, but the amount of processing it would take would be the amount of energy in the universe. And that would be impossible. So. As soon as somebody tried to do that, it'd be like, we've determined the entire future. Oh, yeah? Did your computer predict this? Slap. <laughs> it's like, in fact, it's right here. <laughs> well, they said it's like if, if, if a super advanced... you would slap me. If a super advanced civilization were to make a planet-sized computer or a processing device, they could simulate all of humanity within seconds. We, we, that's why there was, a, there was the whole... What was the name of the property about determining whether or not you're a simulation? And they had this, like, test to run through. And if you could answer all these certain questions uh, uh, correct or true, um, there was a very high probability that you are a simulation. And, and generally, the answers are all yes, and there's a very high probability you are a simulation. Basically, it comes down to what are the chances that a super advanced civilization could ever create a species, uh, a simulation? How many, or, and then how many species are out there? How many would they make? So then, by way of probability and chance, there is a higher chance that you are a simulation than not. So only the dumbest among us are real. Because <laughs> if you can't answer the questions right, you're real. No, it's it's a logic thing, there but it's in a way it's also just um, silly. I think it takes certain things into effect that or certain thoughts into effect that to me are just kind of a little bit bull. But it's a fun thought of experiment. I do like that. So I only only have ninety five of these, so expect ninety four percent. No, that's fine. Any, to any, Thank you much. All the Let's derpies. To, yep, that's ninety four more derpies. That's what yeah, that's talking. what that is. Can I rename them from bits to derpies? Can we? Yes. Can we like? Um, we'll call them derpies from now. Can we like uh, send a thing to Twitch? Yes. Just to rename it. We don't even forget Twitch. Who needs Twitch? What is mm -hmm. call them derpies to say? You sent us one derpy. Uh, Terry post. Um, yes. I mean, physics is a glitch that doesn't allow us to unleash our real potential. To me, I think that, well, the universe is a weird thing because uh, eventually at some point, something has to hit infinity um, because it, it makes no sense for anything to have a beginning or end at some point. Like, because every 
if you think about cause and effect. So at some point, going and extrapolating the universe down to some degree, you have to hit something infinite. And then, because uh, otherwise, it, it literally the universe makes no sense. No, so don't think about that, or you end up like that horse from that one show, the the horse who could like think about who actually could oh. perceive forever or something. Well, he was perceiving the entire universe at yeah. once or something. Yeah. <laughs> he just yes. paraly paralyzed Par horse. Yeah, the paralyzed horse monologues. Yeah, something what they were called. Because he was able to perceive perceive for he was able to comprehend forever. That's what it was. Oh wait, one derby save for Twitch clutches. But here, since you did you, you did two, here I'll play it. I'll do it once more. Oh yeah. There, yeah. Now you got two derps. Yeah. For every derp, you get more derps. It only plays it once. Um, yeah. That would be kind of abusive if you didn't. It would like post like a hundred of them at once and just have it go nonstop. I mean, you could. <laughs> You'd have to just keep spamming one bit at a time. Don't do that. Spread the derps out. Like, tr a trickle of derps is good. Okay, so the other thing I have to worry about is when she's actually coming in here, I can see for this one frame, some of these in the distance. It doesn't matter too much, but it kind of does because it matters to me. Some of these hills kind of matter too, but it's not the <laughs> They're derps. very good derps. I mean, it's just, I, I, I won't complain about derps. Let's see me complain about derps. Um, now, if you like with those like weird thought experiment type things, um, if you ever are able to read or, uh, or unless you have already, if you like that, maybe you don't already have. But uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide series is a, is a very good book that takes some of those like really awkward, deep thought experiments and then takes it to like its logical end uh, to such a degree that it just makes no sense anymore. And it is it is such a good series. And the book is how old now? You don't, don't think about it. Anytime you think about anything, no, that was before age. I was born. Yeah, but now it's even older. Um, like I look at some people I used to watch when I was a kid, and they're all getting. Nineteen seventy nine. It was written five years before I was born, and its science fiction still is relevant to today. This guy who wrote it still alive, Douglas uh, Adams. No, I'm pretty sure he died. No, why'd you do this? Oh, he died in two thousand one. Yeah, I, I I was pretty sure it was a while he, ago. He was only fifty one. Huh. Um, no, he uh, or that book is a science fiction book that even though it was written in the late seventies, it is still surprising how accurately it works for today. You can read it, think of it as today, and it and it's so weird how future, how he was able to think so far into a weird enough future that it actually still makes sense fifty years uh, later. Brony, I like I like what Major you just 26. said. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's stick with that. Like that because if you're 26, I'm 25, and this is amazing. Uh, my dad just had his birthday a little bit ago, and his joke is that he's 29, uh, and every time he has a birthday, he's just 29 again. And but he's at the point now where he's over twice 29, and, but he still says 29. Yes, I like this. I like your dad has a good, good way of things. Um, I need. Wait, it was 1979, 1989. Yes, I am 36. No. Um, yeah, it's it's, it's only gonna play the one derp for it though. You can't. It doesn't keep playing it. I have to. Put, I have to hit the button. But you get another derp. There you go. That's a second derp. That is a second derp. I was gonna feel uh, really sad about my life, but now I'm only slightly sad. <laughs> it's it's wait. Weird. There we got we got the one. There's the third derp. As three derps. <laughs> Don't try to take this to like the most extreme end or anything. But <laughs> I'll... wait, why do you, why do you feel good about your your life now that he's like that's wrathless oh i want to go click the other no, thing did it make me did it play that follow twice no but then well, thanks thank you uh, some kind of <laughs> yeah i went to go play the therapist again and it happened to be the follow came up instead so you get two barks we'll, we'll, we'll get you the last dirt thing that's a good but thank you for the follow so on my side, I have it shows all the alerts on a mini feed. It has a little replay button, so I can just hit those again to replay anything. So, um, if uh, sometimes I miss it, I would do it. Um, this is actually looking pretty spiffy. Yeah, I'm. It's not it like she's in the orchard now. So this is actually lit, um, which is not what it's going to look like. Um, it is cool that she's actually in the orchard. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's what I, I wanted her in the trees. But I like trying to figure out where to put this tree on the right there because like I didn't want to have her disappear back there too fast.
Well, we could have like right now the camera is kind of like going to the side, but we could even have the camera be like, um, like deja vuing with her here, and be like deja vu, beautiful. Whatever these words are, dude. Deja vu. Uh, except for I can't, <laughs> except for I cannot use that song. No, um, that, that song's probably copy uh, watched all the heck. It's um, how popular it is. I did check. There are a couple pieces of people that have it posted, but the song itself is, um, is since it was used in an anime, it's not worth it. There's sometimes where I've gotten away with it for a little while, and it's not even that I couldn't use it. <coughs> I would just lose ability to monetize, which yeah. makes which removes a lot of the um, uh, the benefits that are to not using. So that's why I'm using just that standard Eurobeat. How much more fun the internet would be if everybody could just use whatever songs they. I feel a little slightly sad now because, well, I have done almost nothing with it. My life, that is. How old are you? Uh, are you, are you in your teens or? I'm fifty-seven. Twenty-six. Uh, when I was, so uh, when I was twenty-eight or twenty-nine, I still felt that way. I felt I was, I had spent way too many years in college. I ended up dropping out. Um, I was living with my parents, working at a trucking, trucking company for not much more than a dollar an hour, more than minimum wage, doing a job that I absolutely hated. And I was doing that until I was 20, 29, 30, I think, um, until I finally just got sick of it. And I just decided I had an opportunity come up. And that I kind of scared me, but I said, screw it. And I took it and I pushed um, and I found hobbies to fill my time otherwise. Uh, but it, trust me, it's it's not like uh, you're not the only person that's, that's been like that even like for many years to come. So, but it doesn't mean that you're now at a point where you never be able to, to do anything now. I just figure we're all ash at the end anyways, and if I do something cool before I kick the bucket, then awesome. If not, eh. You did something cool. I do. You get I'll up in the morning. I do That's get up in the morning. I do have ideas for things, but I need capital to make them happen. Look what kind? Money. No, I mean, like, what kind of project? Worry about it. They're impossible goals. Genetically engineering a pony. I'm not going to genetically engineer a pony, but I have ideas... For things, but I want money to make those things happen. <laughs> so what do you I mean? Money. What is the investment for the project you're going to work on? It is to take that money and I want to go onto it in my savings account and build lots of money. I know. I want to get a workshop. I've mentioned that before. To do what? what? I got that, that's between me and me. So why don't you get a workshop? I don't have money. Yeah, you do. I don't have nearly enough money. You start somewhere. I need to, like, be retired. No, because then you're too old to do things. No, that's why you can You're not going to make it past 50. Oh, you're probably right. So... I can still look forward to turning to Ash, can't I? You, what, you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy my own crematorium and then I'm going to have them look, burn me in it. The thing is, when you're dead, you don't have to worry about nothing no more. I'm going to have that on my tombstone and just be like, I don't got to do jack no, no more. Pitching a room into a workshop. With where I am not right now, actually, that would be difficult. Um... My plan is doing a couple years. Um, I want to. Uh, I want well, probably just rent my current place out and move uh, to a larger place that has a bit more space for stuff. Because right now, like I'm in my living room for doing this, and you only could because be in your bedroom. I well, I could, but then my living room would be nothing, and I'd be jamming everything into my bedroom. So I kind of felt like just I, I like where I am. I like the openness of it, but it uh, for the my price range at the time. Um, it was the only thing I could really do, but, um, or not the only thing. I mean, he's living really outside of a major city, so. Well, the idea of it was, if you weren't here, I needed to make sure that I wasn't going to be, like, scraping the bottom of the barrel. You'd be me. eating ramen every day. So, so yeah, I wanted to make sure it was okay on that. So, but I, in a couple of years, I'm going to buy another place, either rent this place out or sell it to move to another place, um, and get a bigger place to where I can have a more dedicated room for that, um, and stuff. So, um. But yeah, that's right now, like workshop or stream room or anything, I don't have the space cool. for it. Uh, thanks. Thank you for the sub night. Uh, three months in a row. Thank you very much. And hello. And the, yeah, that's a good face, Jules. Uh, at the rate I'm going right now, I think it'll be. Uh, well, 
the furnace thing threw a that a little bit behind. Uh, but that also raised the value of this place, so that kind of offset, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be about three to four years totally. before I hit that. Before I would have enough saved up to put a down payment on a place that wouldn't require mortgage insurance. So, well, to go put a down payment on another place, that would be... Um, that would be bigger than this place. But at that point, values would probably go up. So if I can I get know. my stocks to do as well for the next five years as they did this year, I could actually retire. I don't think that's going to happen. Usually you need, you need about two to three million if you want to retire. Yeah. Um, yeah. If I did as well. Yeah, but this is an awkward year. You're not this is an awkward year. You're not going to catch it at the bottom of a COVID recession to to the recovery every year. I need to pull all my money out, and then everybody needs to get sick again. And can everybody yes. do this? Week? If the economy keeps collapsing, and I pull it out just at the right time every time, I put it back on right at the time. Yeah, I'll be perfect. And yeah. you know what? Some people have done that, and they're rich. Uh, and then a lot of other people are poor. I mean, that's how it works. Guess who's back? Back again. Derp is back. Shady's back. Hell of time. Wow. See, this is this Derp is, is this back. is why we're old. Derp is back. Derp. Now you're gonna look and be like, how old is young hip artist Eminem? He's 53. It's like, I am sad now. Oh, careful. Sorry. Like, okay. Now you gotta, you gotta find out how old Eminem is. I love how that's the first one that comes up. I wanna know? 48. 48. I was pretty close. Closer than he's looking for. If that's just a recent picture, he's looking pretty good. Uh, yeah. I uh, Snoop Dogg is definitely have. Wait, he's only 49 years old. <laughs> Apparently, you're just like he's super old. I'm like, no, he's no, only 49. He looks old. Yeah. Like these are one year apart. Dre's looking. Jay's looking pretty good. 45 kind or. Of Little, little Wayne looked like he got ran over by a tractor, but I mean that's see Ice Cube. Ice Cube hasn't looked any different in the past forty years. No, he do, he, do, uh, he doesn't change. Uh, but yeah, Eminem kind of looks like he should. Eminem, yeah. So that's that was my that was my years as Eminem uh, high school music. Uh, my some of my friends back then uh, would listen to a lot of that type of uh, rap and hip hop. And so I am very well versed in a lot of the music from that time. I am crossing into that like uh, Abraham Simpson from Simpsons, like Grandpa Simpson. More and more every day I think about that scene. Like I used to be with it, but then they changed what it was, and then what I was with what I was with wasn't it anymore. And what was it was weird and strange to me. <laughs> And I'm like, I can relate to that so much anymore. I know, as I'm getting older, I am relating more to, like, the grandpa-type characters. Um, it's sad. But, then, but I'm also not caring as much either. Because you start looking at them being like, now I know how he, why he was grumpy. Like, I know why he was doing that. And, uh, and you know what? Screw the kids. Yeah. Kids. And their music. They just need to stay off the lawn. Uh, this is the weird thing with this son is it'll only show the sun's reflection if both cameras are seeing the sun. So we can't see the, the, the light now, but when I move this up, it'll show. And because I now have the sun visible, it's so weird. Uh, mm. He might be spry. I, I pop every joint in my body when I get out of bed mm. in the morning. Little kids, y'all still spry. Uh, well, actually, I have like I have some hip issues, um, and <laughs> okay, at least I don't have hip issues. No, I have there's I have a, a a thing in my right my right joint of my hip that probably in the next five to ten years I wouldn't be surprised if I develop a limp. I already have a little bit of a limp that I have. If once I get up, I have to be to take my time to warm it up a little bit. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's like in five to ten years it just You're be just sitting on a porch like storms coming. It's like, how'd you tell, Grandpa? I can feel it in my bones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my hips are my hips. Are, my, my hips are twitch are twitching. <laughs> no, I have I have an issue in that. I, I have some knee issues, but the knee issues have mostly been solved just because of uh, when I worked out for a while years ago. Um, just getting more muscle into my legs, basic, and then losing weight completely got rid of a lot of that pain, like surprisingly quick. Uh, it was wasn't that the knees were bad; it was that they just didn't have the muscle to move. Um, 
Tony Hawk 3, G Grand Theft Auto 3, Halo, Luigi Mansion, all turned 20 this year. I never, well, Luigi, maybe, you know, but I never played Luigi's Mansion. I know it's a good game, trust me. I just wasn't a Nintendo fan for that time period. Um, yeah. I, my, I was Xbox, some, not really PlayStation, I was mostly Xbox gamer was before I went to PC. Um, so I did, yeah, I don't know a lot of those, but Tony Hawk's 3, I did play Grand Theft Auto 3, hell yeah. Halo, hell yeah. Um, for sure. I'm looking forward to Infinite. I want to see that one. I remember when... Oh, I still remember when I got my first Nintendo and how much fun that was. If anything's going to age me and stuff like that. Um... Do you guys... The only reason I even know what Pokemon is, like years and years later, kids are still talking about Pokemon. The only Pokemon I ever played was Pokemon Blue. Though I will agree. Though I played Pokemon, like, I think... Is that blue? I think it was blue. Yeah. Uh, I played blue, and then like I and I watched the anime when it first mm -hmm. came out. Yeah. And then, too. then yeah, it's because well, because I never really went any further on console the the handhelds. Yeah. And if, well, I think I had an advance, but I don't think I bought any. I of never ones. had an advance. Like I had a Game Boy, and that was it. And I watched the uh, series, and like people talk about Pokemon today, and like oh yeah, Pokemon. And then who doesn't like Pokemon? And then they'll talk about some. Pokemon that's not one of the original 150. I'm like, you lost me. <laughs> I, yeah, don't, I don't no, know. I, I kind of, the only reason I knew any of the Gen 2 stuff was because of, um, um, five check. Yeah. Um, was, uh, because of Pokemon Go when they incorporated them. Otherwise, I never really played them. Yeah. I, the, I've only really played the red and, red and blue, and then I did play, uh, Sun and Moon. Um, because I ended up having a DS, and so I played through it. I remember my siblings in high school were really into the Pokemon card game. I did the card game for a little while, but it was just the it was the popular thing when I was younger, so that was kind of why I did it. Yeah, and I never got into any of the card stuff because it seemed even even my young, like, 15, 16 year old self was like, that's frivolous. <laughs> that's a lot of money to spend on cardboard. I played magic cards for a while, even though I only really played with one person. I kind of had a smaller group of friends at the time, and all their nerd hobbies were video games, and so I. Like, I never really got involved with, like, card games as much as I really would have wanted to. I was very much already into computer games when I was younger. It was, like, I think the first one I played online was the original StarCraft, and I was really into that one. That came out in, like, 98, I'd say, so I would have been 13. The last year of the Mighty F1 engine. Uh, and no Pokemon. There's Pikachu, Squirrel, <laughs> Charred, Charred Manor, and Bulbasaur. Yes, those are some of my faves. Um, no, I, I, I the original group was definitely uh, my favorite, but it, uh, whether or not it was the best, I don't know. But it was probably my favorite just because that was what I, it's the first one I, I knew. So I'm going to be biased towards it. You know what I like about this phantom right here, though? I think if I lived to be like a 90-year-old man and somebody were to bring me a horse plush, no matter how jaded my old self has become, I'm fairly certain even my 90-year-old self would get a smile out of it. And that thought brings me comfort. You know, as long as, like, Alzheimer's hasn't taken my brain. <laughs> What? What is this? Some sort well, of demon? I thankfully my family has doesn't have too much of a history on that. Um, like my grandma, she died at 102, and she had she definitely had difficulty talking at that age, but she was mm -hmm. still 100 percent there with it. She, you could ask her. We were you could ask her questions about like the Great Depression and um, and everything, and she does. She just knew she was able to give you all the info. She, so she had her brain the whole time. Like, Grandma, tell me about the Great Depression. Well, it started at the moment you walked in. <laughs> no, my grandma's fa my favorite it's quote awful. from her was, we were like, so Grandma, what was the Great Depression like? She goes, uh, she's like, I don't know. It wasn't any different to us. We were poor when it started. We were poor when it began. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But she was a farmer out in the, you know, out and, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, out in middle, uh, middle of Wisconsin. And so she's just like, it didn't affect us much. Everybody was complaining because the, the, the rich people lost their money and the people in the cities lost their money. And she's like, we never had money. Yes. 
I mean, people out, like, unless you were, like, affected by the Dust Bowl. Like, yeah, and she was in Wisconsin, so, so I don't think she had too much. Um, I mean, Nolan, uh, if Derpy's in Generation 9, you can bring me to Generation 9 plush. Gotta, gotta keep Derpy in all of them. She's gonna be in Generation 5. We'll see. I would be legitimately surprised if they didn't have, like, a time travel episode with the way things are going. Where they all, like, take an episode and travel back. You poke him? No, and horse. You poke him? Yes. Poke him. <laughs> the horses all travel with the Pokemon world. Look at that. The crossover episodes. I would hate that. Because as much as, like... Like, I don't dislike Pokemon, but there is a certain level of, like, jealousy towards it for being such a successful franchise when other things have come and gone. It seems to stay and actually maintain a strong presence. Because it's marketable. I can't. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's well, no more. these cute little, like, animal things. Yeah. Cute little animal things. But, but it can vary. These are all just variations of horse. Well, there, they have a huge spectrum to pull got, from. And it's an RPG that allows you to raise them as a pet. You got horn horse. So is that what they need to do? They need to put you these got, little like, pets? I mean, if they put collars like, on them, it turns into a very my, different show. My Little Tomodachi. Oh, no. <laughs> Just the final episode is like, You all left. The ratings dropped. And nobody's been feeding me. I'm dying. Is it like a family guy? It's like, oh, yes. Horses need food. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh, uh, Pokemon. Uh, like things. So many things have come and gone, but Pokemon's the one thing that just will not die. Because <laughs> well, it, it's making money. Yeah. So, in Japan, it's it's just big enough and. Now you have all these gamers that are just are nostalgic as hell for stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, they're going to... I mean, I guess I could say the same thing about, like, Mario. Um, well, also, sometimes it doesn't take something actually being popular. It just takes them perceiving it as popular. So if they keep shoving it in your face enough, you get you'll get a following. Um, and I think that's the way with a lot of that stuff. It's what it's been... You know, one franchise that always has merchandising in the stores is that Frozen movie. And, like, is anybody still, like, nostalgic for that Frozen movie? No, I the no but that's not that good. Kid, it's not, but it's, nostalgic is about younger kids that grew up and now are looking back at it as something from their childhood. The people from Frozen are still kids. If they were a kid that liked it, there's a kid now st still. I just, so, yeah, I gotta just move over here. Eat the crap out of your mind. A little bit. Well, just the back thing. You just I keep getting wet, you know what? I mean? you, you keep going to slap me, and the mic gets in the way. Right. Chicken back here for we thought we got rid of chicken because he's a jerk. He ran over derpy. Bad chicken. No. <laughs> Bad chicken. No. No, you don't. No. 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 Here, you take it. But he hurt me. But the dragon would hurt the chicken. I ate chickens. It's just you. Well, it was him. Oh, no, he's eating the. He's eating. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Rathalos alone. Leave Rathalos alone. That was actually the weirdest business expense I've ever have to write. <laughs> He wrote. He actually wrote those things off. No, when I did the contest for these, <laughs> uh, wrote them all. Well, because yeah, it was a business expense. Wow, so. you didn't miss anything, did you? Yeah, everything I was involved was a bit, like this. What is the contest I did last March? Yeah, I remember. Um, there's three of them. Um, yeah, that was it's, it was technically part of a business thing. In, in any ways, even if I write off it, like way more stuff than, if, or if I get nitpicky on it, but it was still considered such, it's still an expense. So. Um, it's just that I'm eating into my own income. And all it is doing is removing some part of taxes. It's not like I didn't spend the money, so. 
You know what, Sir Edward, forget Frozen. There is one franchise I absolutely cannot stand, and it's and I think it's because it was rising in popularity. Is it horses? When ponies were falling. No, it's not horses. horses. I like horses. horses. There was a franchise that was rising in popularity as horses was kind of falling off in popularity, and I kind of think I felt like they were Did replacing they horses. No. Paw Patrol. What's wrong with Paw Patrol? I can't stand Paw Patrol. Because I kept seeing pony merchandise leave shells and Paw Patrol replacing them. And I thought, is this what the kids were doing today? Are they taking them over? They're, they're replacing my horses. <laughs> this Paw Patrol nonsense. Where, where's her leg going? <laughs> um. <laughs> it's leaving. <laughs> she's, got, she's got the strong kicks. The ears of bucking trees. Um. Oh. Uh. Like, their merchandise is everywhere. You can't... You, you run into it around every... If you're ever in a store... Why, why are you... It's like every corner. But, Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. Yeah, if you're in, you're in the toy section. It's not the whole store. They got, like, Paw Patrol Even in, pillows, Paw Patrol, like, cheese. Why are you looking Paw Patrol, for Paw Patrol stuff? I just notice it because it why fills me with rage. I mean, I have not seen any of this because I don't look for cartoons on the... Like, like, are you going, like, SpaghettiOs? And then be like, Paw Patrol SpaghettiOs, but they don't have the Why ponies. is there like 50 Paw Patrol things and I can't find one like box of pony cereal? Come on, Hasbro. Hasbro, give me my pony cereal. I'd buy cereal if it had a pony on it. I would too. And then I'd bring it home and then I'd show it to him and he would just shake his head in disappointment. Well, I love those are my favorite moments of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Like, look, this box of cereal had a Twilight Sparkle on it. We had to buy, I had to buy it. Like, I would buy out entire cereal sections, like, daily if they just, like, had horses on them. You didn't before, just now it's rare. It, it, it was rare before. Like, it, there weren't, I think there was a macaroni and cheese, like, uh, Kraft Mac and Cheese had that thing with uh, their unicorn mac and cheese where they actually put the, uh, MLP characters on there temporarily, and I did buy those. But did you eat them? Uh, I think eventually. Or are they sitting in a box upstairs and I have to worry about rats or something? <laughs> no. I did buy the unicorn mac and cheese for jokes, but it wasn't the same. Like, it didn't have the, the good phone at all. I think I eventually ate that, but. I mean, Hasbro doesn't market stuff well. I don't think the market thing's great. It's just that you're not the market audience. I can't find any of it. Market audience or otherwise. But it's because it doesn't uh, isn't out there anymore. They're not selling pony merch. <laughs> because it's not, there's no reason to sell something. There's not a show out there to sell. Well, there it. is. In the movie. As soon as the movie pops up, you think. There's Pony Life. Yeah. It's still it, airing. But it, yeah, but there's not an, it's not as popular. They're going to sell things based on the volume that they profit on. Going. Just because it isn't what you, you want doesn't mean that they're doing it wrong. Get rid of all the Paw Patrol. <laughs> but if, what, <laughs> Replace it all with Pony. Yeah, you want Hoof Patrol. That sounds cool. Pony drops mm -hmm. magic get off the way. Get off my toy, all muggles are shaking hands at Paw Patrol. Yeah, yeah he's, exactly. Every time he comes back, it, so when's the last time you went to Target to go grocery shopping and didn't go to the toy aisle? It's not a fair question. Because <laughs> it's not even okay. near the same side of the store. I will go to the toy aisle to see what horse toys are there, but I won't go into the toy aisle if I see like parents with their children there, because then it feels awkward. So I'll be like, darn it, darn kids, so you're my you, ponies. So it's that... And then okay, I'll just, like, go. so you'll keep going in circles, staring at the no, children. No, I'll, I'll go past. And if there's no kids there, I'll go in and look at the horse toys. But what if some kid does come in afterwards? Then I'll scoot away. Like, I don't want to be... I one time I, had a conversation with a kid about a pony toy there. because Yeah. Because you shouldn't give a shit. You're like, don't know that I'm weird, please. No, it's like... The kid is fine, but if the kid's there with his parents, but the kid ain't gonna care. The parents the par are gonna be like, "What's this? What's the guy, middle-aged man, doing near these my little pony what's, toys?" What's the guy, kid's dad's name? Who? The kid. The you know the parent that's there. What's their name? 
Uh, judgmental man. <laughs> you don't know their name because you don't care and you're never going to see this person again. And if they think something is awkward of you, all you're going to be is just some random person that they're going to like put into a general category and forget who the hell ever happened to. Yes, so. but there would be lots more little tiny figurines over there. If you're that, buying so. it for your daughter or something. I think that's worse. Just man up to it. Like... <laughs> I did. I do remember buying a Rainbow Dash piggy bank, and the the teller being like, "Oh, this is cute. Are you buying this for uh, a daughter or a niece or something?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> oh no, I've I've had it before. Where I, I've had it more often than not. They've been like, "So, are you a brony?" Really? Yeah. Uh, but I've had it times where they're like, "Is this for a daughter?" So I'm like, "No, no, I'm not gonna hide the crap. Like, I don't. What's the point?" I am who I am, and if they don't like that, it's not like the judgment of some random person sitting behind a register in a Target. It, they, my, their opinion of me is going to matter more than my, my opinion of myself. No. I mean, you should be ashamed of chicken. No, chicken Chicken is is a prime example of, Thanks to be ashamed of, of. of a person. Hello, Sapphire. How was your day? My day was well. How was your day? My day was good, too. I got to read some of my book today. Which is a good makes it a good day. Uh huh. I'm in gray smoke now. This is when she starts swinging this way. Um. Okay. And then, as I need to figure out how she like kind of the timing on some of this. There we go. I wore my pony shirts to work maybe only five times in the 11 years I've worked there. How often did you wear your pony shirts to work? None, because I can't. It's not even my dress code. At your previous job. At my previous job? No, because it wasn't in my dress code. I had to wear a dress shirt. So, you know, I, I worked in actual offices where, where you know, successful people worked. Wow. No, it's uh, uh, I uh, no, I never wore any of that stuff to work because it just was not within my um, um, like I I couldn't wear it to my current job because I'm supposed to wear like khakis and a dress button down shirt. I don't have a pony button down shirt. I wear a dress shirt every day. Hmm. I wear a dress shirt every day. Yeah, where's your pony dress shirt? I don't have one. I don't have to wear a dress shirt. I just choose to actually dress. Well, wear your pony shirt. I don't want to get them dirty. Uh huh. But you have, a, you have a, the, the the coat. Coat. Do you have the lab coat? It's more like just wearing them because all of them have to be like special cold washed, and like they I, I gotta put, they gotta be in their own load of laundry. It's a it's a whole hassle. But um. <laughs> As far as toys are concerned, the toys that Hasbro's been putting out recently haven't been that good. I've had people compliment my pony shirt even if they don't care about the show. I've had a lot of people compliment on the, my, the necklace I have, um, which is from Silver Slinger I got like a while back. And uh, I've had a lot of... I, I was at uh, Starbucks uh, oh, like last fall. And somebody said, like, hey, nice necklace. And I'm like, thank you. I don't know if they know what it was from. But I've had other people that, that knew this was... Hell, I had the person that came here not long ago to do a, a quote on my furnace. And um, uh, and they have to go and check out the runs for sizes. And I had ponies everywhere. And she asked if I was a brony. And then she was just talking about some super nerdy stuff she was into. And she thought it was super cool. Uh, and I just answered some questions for her. So um, everybody thinks that it's always some embarrassing thing. But at least at the age that I am now, uh, I care less about what other people's opinions. And it's... Um, and other people that are my age are also nerds. So. I just don't want to go down an aisle and like go into the aisle and like have the parent grab their child's hand as they like hurry them away from me. As uh, hey, if you're like literally breathing heavily while shoving lots of them in your I'm heart. not breathing heavily. <laughs> No, there's different ways to go about it. If you're browsing like a normal human being, sure. But if you're over there like lifting tails and like stuff, sure, that's going to look creepy. But if you're literally just at a store buying things, that guy is there with their daughter or, or son in that aisle. What's so weird about him being in that aisle? Because he has the kid. So hire a kid to go with you. <laughs> <laughs> like... It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's gonna be great. All hey, 
uh, miss, may I rent your child for the day? <laughs> I don't want to look at phony toys. But even then, if they look at you, they're going to look and say, like, oh, that guy's got grandkids. And so they're going to... He's just fine. <laughs> Renting children. This is all. Um, no, but it's... Um, but even then, I've never I've never lied to anybody in regards to it because it just it doesn't make any sense to me. I, uh... I think part of it is, like, I've been in the toy aisle, at least at Target, and the toys just haven't been that good. Hasbro, they don't put out quality stuff. They do, for kids. You it's, say that, but... It's balancing... Which all has good stuff. But but the good stuff is expensive. And when you're trying to buy toys for a kid, expensive is not what parents want to buy. It's, no, Paw Patrol has good stuff at reasonable prices. Another reason I hate Paw Patrol, because they actually know how to market. Wait, why are you looking into, like, like the quality of their merchandise? Are you picking it up and looking at it? I can see it on the shelf. and like, I, I, well, Why are you spending enough time to look at it? Big. Are you getting into Paw Patrol? No, I'm not getting into Paw Patrol. What's the name of the main character? I don't I legit don't know. What animal is it? It's a dog. Wait, what? <laughs> Dogs! Well, you know too much. Dogs aren't nearly as good as horses. That horse. Can dogs do that? No. Yeah, well, probably. Black <laughs> shoulders. Hmm. Yeah, that's true, Sir Edward. If you want quality stuff, you gotta pay, like, um, for the fan made stuff. There has been some exceptions. I think there's actually some figures out right now that I think. I don't know if anybody follows Dusty Cat was showing off that are officially licensed merchandise but it's all third party stuff the one time I think um, Hasbro actually put out good merchandise was some of the stuff you have over there the uh, Guardians of Harmony the Guardians of Harmony stuff yeah but again that's, that's I this the majority of the toys they have are the ones that are made for an audience that making it expensive means that the parents aren't going to be able to afford it. So they have they have plenty of people that do plenty of research into determining what's the best amount uh, to make money on things. And I think there we're, are we're a market, these. but we're, if we're a niche market, but we're willing to spend money on things, they're not going to sell us cheap toys. They're going to sell us the expensive toys, which are kind of what those were. But a kid doesn't want those. Tell that to the people who market for Paw Patrol. we <laughs> <laughs> going rump. <laughs> Paw Patrol gets all the good well, toys. They, if they were losing money, they would not be doing what they are doing. But they're so they most likely are making a buttload of money. Who did give a dog a pilot's license? This is just sounds like a horrible idea. Yeah, who gave this horse a freaking tractor license? Do tractor use licenses? The license to drive a tractor. Wait, how, is there an age limit? Nope. So. You could just. I was driving a tractor when I was like 10. Why would your parents do that? Because they wanted me to get some stuff done. So they didn't have to do it. I was push mowing my lawn, my parents' lawn when I was eight. Like with a push mower. Looking back, that was probably dangerous, but then my dad's thought was like, I don't gotta do it now. He can push it and I'll give him five bucks. Oh yeah, I did mowing for my parents. At eight? Not at eight. I was um, a push mower too. Like if I slipped, I would have lost a foot. Maybe they were hoping. <laughs> oh, childhood. Did anybody get one of the? <laughs> Look at that horse. That horse is amazing. I'm, I'm not even really caring about like what she looks like and all this because this is gonna be. Uh, when she's turning this corner, mm. this is what she's gonna look like. So as long as I have the motion being sort of fine, it's fine. Everything's gonna be so blurred uh, that it's I, I can get away with a ton of stuff. So I'm uh, I do want to potentially um, have her um, go like this. Well, it was for mowing the lawn. Mowing the lawn was a very Ooh. strenuous task. That was an adventure with legs. Um, and, and do that. Okay. Now we're going to go like this. Mm -hmm. 
this. Actually, oh, this would even be different than that. So this would be. I need to figure out a time on this. Ah, let's do pick random. So we'll say bam. Bam. Yeah. I kind of feel like Hasbro is in a very old mindset. Like they've been doing the same thing for a really long time and it works for them. But I see toy companies. It doesn't work for you. Well, I see toy companies with probably with better people who haven't been around since 1970, who actually found out that in at least the limited market, if you put out decent uh, products, people will buy them. Yeah, but they are selling stuff. Yeah, garbage. Yeah, garbage to you. Yes, yeah, but their, it, to their could, audience, it's fine. They could make some quality stuff. They, and they, maybe a little why limited. would they make it when other people will do it? Because they could do it cheaper. Yeah, but then... But, but why? They can just market it out to so people. So that I can buy it. But that's greedy. I want I want good horses. I need me a Scootaloo plushie that doesn't cost three hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, so she's got she's kind of stirring turned the steering wheel there. Yeah, it's been raining it all day. It actually stopped for a little while, and it basically completely dried out. And then, so I went to the mailbox. It was like fifty. It was really nice, and I went like walking around the block. And then when it came back, it started stopped raining again. It was like the perfect timing. It took a break just for you. Yeah, essentially. All right, so she does the steering wheel thing, but I have to now actually turn the steering wheel. Um, where's my steering wheel? I'm kind of to that point with my horse, my horse, my horse toys that I'm out of space for them for new stuff. So. Not as quick to buy things as I once was. I need another bookshelf and I need to just throw out some things. Throw out ponies? No. I actually have a lot of like figurines and stuff in my closet that are just in a bag because I have nowhere to put them. Jaconoquist boy? Um, it, if you could find any more of the, uh. I can go. Oh. I have one. I'll go get mine. Mine's in the box. I have the one right there. I mean, if you want, but it'll probably fall down. It doesn't really sit well. Well. Let's see how this Why? Yeah, he doesn't want to sit on the thing. Yeah, you're good. This, yeah, I'm good. Discord. Um, I uh, actually the one thing I liked about a lot of these was um, if you kept up on watching for sales, um, uh, they they were cheap, and this mm -hmm. one was eight bucks. I mean, initially you could buy them at Walmart, but yeah, I think it was eight bucks. Yeah, and the one I had the Storm King, I think it was six bucks. Yeah, that's not expensive. No, no, that was because they were on like a 90% off sale. They were no. normally much more than that. Sure, it was just that they, some of them weren't selling as popular as some of the other ones, so they ended up selling fairly cheap. I didn't care about this one as much, but it was just so cheap. Yeah. And I bought it with a different one. Some of them are really nice. I didn't care as much about him. Um, but at the same time. Not a pony. So. Well, no, it just, it was, it, I got it for super cheap. Uh, if you keep watch on Amazon or something, every now and then you can find it for a really good price. I got that. Um, but yeah, other than that, you really don't find much for Discord stuff. Um, and I think I put out all of the Guardian stuff now. Spike. Did you, did you ever have Spike? Spike. Spike. Like, oh, big Spike. And it's being written by, I think, Rarity? One of the guardians of Equestria. I don't like him as a dragon? Him as a dragon. Huh. No. I think it's somebody's writing him. I think it's Rarity. Can't remember. 
Oh, well, no. Is that a... Is that an actual... Oh, not a video. Um, this yeah, one? Yeah, that one. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I saw that one. That's a Guardians of a... It is! Guardians Park. Guardians of Yeah, Guardians of Harmony. Yeah, I don't... That one, to me, is more of, like... Writing? Um, oh, it's shining, shining armor. armor. Okay. That one to me is more about. It, that one is more of a toy. I like the ones that just have details that I can put off in the design. Same the with this one too. Though. Yeah, but I didn't really care about that one. It was meant about being articulated. I like the yeah. ones that aren't articulated because when you put that articulation, it just looks basic. Um, but I like the other ones. So I have. Uh, oh no, not the chrysalis one. You don't have chrysalis? I thought you did. No, this is this is the articulated chrysalis with a little spike with this little spike okay. thing. Uh, I don't have that one. I have all the like the the standstill ones um, uh, of them, and those are those. So if you just type ones. in Guardians of Harmony, you'll probably get them all. Yeah, but um, there's a picture of all of them um, right there. Hmm? That's yeah. most of them. So I have like uh, Nightmare Moon and Celestia and all that. I remember uh, the movie figurines were pretty. I think I got Nightmare Moon at. I realized it was on sale, and so I drove all the way to the Mall of America to pick, to make sure because they had like two in stock, mm -hmm. and so I went and picked it up quick. Um, I think I just have Discord, and then I have the one with Trixie and Starlight on the rocket. Um, yeah, I only have that one because you've got that for me. Because mm -hmm, I noticed you didn't have it, and that's one of the better ones. Yeah, I've I, that one is kind of fun. I do like yeah, that that's one. That's cute. Um, I, uh, but both, like, uh, my favorite is probably... I love the Storm Kings one just because the way that he looks and like the lightning bolts and everything are really cool but otherwise it's probably the the tempest twilight one it, or the or the chrysalis one because the chrysalis one like the detail they put into all those other pieces is so cool um there is he did a good job there is a new series i can't remember what it's called but they're a pretty decent figurines i don't think they're as good as the guardians of harmony figurines but they're pretty they're pretty decent they got like three versions of the rainbow one the rainbow one. Yeah, I know he walked away for a bit and he didn't hear the ice maker going off or Yeah. I I am afraid I'll just touch those uh touch stuff over on those shelves and then it will just all come crashing down. Yeah, so I on my shelves over there I have a bunch of the pony stuff. I have a bunch I have a laser gun. I'm actually getting the Mass Effect helmet soon. I think that's in June. Mass Effect helmet? Was um, there a helmet that was distinctly Mass Effect? What is going on? Twilight just captured Jason's. Okay. It's a one to one scale, you can actually wear it. But I don't care about that. Um, but it was. I mainly got it because it's. it doesn't come with the game, but I just wanted the helmet. Because yeah. I, have, I have the Mass or the Halo helmet. And so I want to take the Halo helmet with the, and I want to get a like a replica gun, but I want to get a Mass Effect of the replica of the, um, the, I'm, I forgot the name of the machine gun, but I want like the standard machine gun. I yeah. want to get a replica of that, and I want to have it be like a Mass Effect bit on the shelf, uh, like two things for there, and then a couple things Halo on that side. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I, these are cool. I played through Mass Effect one through three. I just. I don't think I got into it as much as the re things. the remake comes out in May, mm -hmm. and they're not three. They haven't touched too much. Two, they did quite a bit. One is they showed a lot of screenshots, and it, they are basically completely re revamping the graphics. They are not changing anything else about it. Is as Seth Green still in it? Oh yeah, it's all all that's the same game. They're just buff. They're upping everything to increase graphics and fidelity and make it more accurate. Probably you know, my face is tired type thing. Joker was my favorite character. Yeah, he, I think he'll still. He'll, that's not changing at all. They're yeah. not changing. They were afraid that they were going to remake it, but no, it's they're showing actual comparative shots that are identical. So no, it looks really really good. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that because Mass Effect's one story was fantastic. I think uh, bringing up Sierra games, and I know you hate when I do, but <laughs> they did remake. I remember my, one of my favorite games, Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. They remade the game, and I would have been ecstatic had they just kept the original voice cast. And it blows my mind that they didn't, because there was no real improvement in the audio from the original game to well, the remake. A lot of it is, can you uh, find them? Are they? Uh, is the price right? Well, they could have just reused the audio. They didn't even need to have them come back in and re-record. Depends on how their contracts originally had stated. I guess. If they went to reuse it, they might have had to say that they had a portion of game sales in their yeah. contract. 
And then they probably, if they used it again, would need to re-give them that contract. But redoing it, they could have renegotiated with somebody else and been cheaper. It's possible, but the original cast was like Michael Dorn, who played Worf, um, Mark Hamill, Tim Curry. Um, well, yeah, there you go. That's all you care about is Tim Curry. Well, Tim Curry played the main character, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're a little um, bit uh, That woman who was girl. on Kane's... Yeah, yeah. Comes to Tim Curry. Um, the the woman from King of Queens who played the wife, I can't remember her name. I know who you're talking about. Uh, but um, she, I'm a huge Hollywood cast. And then they did the remake. The game looked better, but then you had all these people who weren't that good. weren't, Or at least weren't nearly as good as the original cast. And it just hurt the game on such a deep level that I couldn't play it. Was it that it wasn't as good, or it wasn't? It was different, and you were just being strange and nostalgic. I think if it was the remake, um, I would have been like graphically. I wasn't nostalgic for the graphics. I will say I was nostalgic a little bit for the cast because it was just so they just did a, such a magnificent job. And I even remember uh, watching a documentary of the um, the making of the original game. And Tim Curry getting really into it because he thought that was the future of entertainment. Was uh, and when we talk about that being the future, this was like 1993, so video games were still just kind of in their infancy. I might actually add some more of these. Once I actually added the lighting, it's a little bit easier to see some of the patchiness in the background here on some of it, but it actually wouldn't be too much work. Like I just fixed it on this. Um, a lot of these just require some layers. Um, I definitely will be adding some like dirt throw up and stuff like that too, but um, nonetheless, I am at my time here, so um, never really Mass Effect, but yes, Joker is amazing as a character. No, I, I recommend like if you haven't played it before, um, the remake is should be pretty awesome. The only thing I don't like about the remake is that it doesn't come with Mass Effect 3's multiplayer, which kind of sucks. It's kind of understandable, but Mass Effect, Mass Effect multiplayer was amazing it was so much fun and and the and andromeda yeah i have like 200 hours in the game and almost all of its multiplayer I because like, any of the single player in the yeah game. so um so yeah it's uh, if you have the opportunity um no, dark rainbows. Uh, if you have the opportunity to tr try it out on the new remake great story great everything um but i without the multiplayer that to me loses a lot of value so i'm not sure i wish i could cr can like transfer my Andromeda to Steam, but it actually doesn't really matter because if you buy it on Steam, it just makes you go to the EA launcher anyway. Um. Anyway, um. Let me check. Oh, okay. So I don't really need to extra patch the grass here because you can't see it. Anyway. Um, I plan on buying. All right. Yeah. I and actually, if you have the opportunity to and you'd like reading, there is actually. Uh, there's three, four books technically that were for the series, and they are fantastic reads. Uh, so, some of the characters are actually in the book pop up in Mass Effect 3. They, they were in the book, and if you had read the books, you actually then know who they are. Um, and they're written by the actual person that read, uh, wrote Mass Effect in general. Um, though some of them probably are better to read after you played the games, because otherwise you'll know a few things uh, beforehand. But they are, uh, they were fantastic, except for book four. Book four, I think, was written by somebody else after the original author left. And there is so many plot holes and story holes and things that make no sense that, for the most part, it just isn't worth reading. Uh, I need Chris with some derpy stuff for me. Um, derpy stuff, yes. Put them both together. Oh, you can merge them into one per one, one mega horse. No. They'd be ch uh, changeling derpy. I always find like she could she could transform into a muffin. I actually find changing versions of the characters to be depressing. Why? Because it feels like they were like forced against their will to become changelings. Well, what if they were always a changeling? <sighs> do you know Do you know how many like fanfic stories are out there where that is like Wait. the main six have the storyline for? I read one about Rainbow Dash um, <laughs> having that done. Mo yeah, like it's good. Being turned into changelings is sad though. Because they can never go back to their normal lives. And that's sad. Why not? Because it's sad. They can't. They're, they're bugs now. But no, they weren't changing. Changes. What if they've always been a changeling? If they've always been a changeling, that's different. But if they're, like, captured and turned into changelings... But that implies that you can turn somebody into a changeling. Yeah, but there's a lot of fanfics like that. And I didn't like them. Oh. They made me say it. Say it. 
they wouldn't be themselves anymore. They'd be like trying to the, grasp something that they're not. Well, they can become changelings. They can just transform their cells back. Yeah, but at, the, at that point, it's about you're putting on a, a, a mask then, and like, then, then they're going to have the redemption arc of you don't need to wear the mask, just be who you are. So, um, I think like you're probably a vampire. The easiest time with being a changeling since ponies already love her. I don't know though. They probably would. It would probably be a thing where she goes pink Mina mode on some stuff too. No, don't end stream. I have to. It's or it's past eight. It's, it's actually like even just having yesterday off felt weird after in the full week of streaming. Um, he has to eat a lot of ham. I, but then I spent I think like three hours yesterday doing taxes and I'm still not done. So um, yeah, he needs to finish those. So yeah, taxes start more. Yeah, so it's uh, and I still so I'm gonna be finishing those up. I'm waiting for YouTube to send me my my um my 10.99 because I I forgot to change my address so it's not a little behind. Um. Uh, but uh, an update actually regarding uh, new tail stuff. Um, should have the first video of that done within the next less than, definitely less than a week. So hopefully I have, oh well, yeah, I hope so, because we're gonna have two done by the end of the month. Um, and so hopefully that should be something that I can pop up for supporters on Discord sometime in the next whatever days. Um, and once that is done too, I'm going to be asking people for some opinions on how things look on it and what they think. Uh, as far as I know, it's going to be kind of the final thing, but if we know if we're going forward, we can start on that right away. Um, it's time to pay your yearly subscription to America. Yeah, actually I was, I, I, I originally on my personal taxes owed $2,000, um, because I haven't changed, I needed to change my W4, I think at work or my W2 w2 um because i think i'm at not having enough taken out but uh but that's fine uh, i i i thought about just offsetting it by just if i increase contributions for 401k it technically offsets it too um but uh uh but everything else with between house and some other stuff it offset it back to uh, uh i'm thinking what's balanced this i'm not done yet again i need waiting for my youtube farms to come through um, I absolutely love fanfics where an iconic character is completely turned into an OC and the readers expect to accept the character as the original. Y yeah, well it depends on what they mean by OC. Some people are writing a character because it was something, something unique and different, but some people try to inject like their ideas into certain things and sometimes it gets very forceful. There hasn't been, been many times where I've read, uh, read a fic and it, I hit a point where I needed to stop reading. Like, I mean where it was like, I know this is bad. I usually can find that out pretty quick. But also those are normally not rated very well and I was always basing my stuff on finding stuff that were rated pretty good. So. I mean, when what do you mean by like taking an iconic character and turning it into an OC? Because like, they take uh, iconic characters and put them into a story and then they play off that character pretty well. I'm but post pony out of the stream if we keep chatting. Yeah. <laughs> You've done that before. Um, no, but I do like having a little bit of time. The only reason I ended at 8 instead of 9 on Tuesdays is so that I just have a little bit more time in the evenings to uh, shocks because I basically do... Uh, I, I work, and then as soon as I'm done with work, I'm usually poking at some stuff uh, I'm and doing stream prep or dinner or something. So it's, I basically still have not actually stopped working even at this point. So it just, uh, it's just... I need breaks too, Edward. No, he doesn't. Especially after last week. Last week was exhausting. He should make ponies until he collapses. Mm -hmm. Sure. And they should all be about derby. Especially since I'm, I'm behind, because originally I wanted to have a video out every four to six weeks. That and I'm never thinking, happens. But I, well, I'm behind just because of the new channel thing. So, well, I wanted a video out every two weeks and an animation every four to six. But because of the new channel thing, that's that ate up a ton of my time for a while. Wasn't this Applejack video supposed to only take like two weeks initially? Well, yeah, because I was trying to push on it to begin with. But then the new channel thing kicked in. So the new it was be, going to be that I was going to work on it nonstop for a while. But then the, I just wanted to push on the other things. So figuring the art for it. And everything. Is the new channel up yet? Well, it's, it's up. It's just not public yet. I mean, I, I have like it exists. You send me the link. No, because there's nothing on it yet. Uh, Not very much of a channel, is it? It exists. It has the art for it. Uh, I just need to change the icon because I'm not happy with it. I'm playing with it a little bit still. Um, but uh, it, there was a lot of the background stuff of like trying to figure out like the theme and everything. That just took time because it was a lot of trial and error and, and poking and seeing what we could do. There's another current uh, name completely changed. 
I don't like that little dashy. Well, like, I don't dashy is not a good fit. It's a popular fit. It's, it's, it's popular because people all want their own Because they wanted, horse. They wanted their heart to explode twice. No, I just want a horse that I can take home and lock in my basement. Oh. Just like in my little dashy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I guess if you really wanted to go, you could probably say that. I know Dash, it was still Dash. She still had the same personality traits. I didn't. That, I don't think that that was good. My little Dash was not a good book. It was just popular. Uh, anyways, no. You guys we'll talk about Rainbow Factory now. No, no, I never read that one. No, I, I, I just know. Those I just know. And I mean, either I know about it because of the song. Yeah, that's I know that and cupcakes and stuff because of that. But um, otherwise. Uh, I'll see you guys on Friday. Uh, reminder: uh, Friday's normal stream, um, and and sa Sunday is still normal follow stream. But Saturday, I do not know the time yet. Uh, but sometime Saturday, I'm gonna guess sometime between like 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. my time, we're gonna be streaming uh, Monster Hunter Rise, which comes out this Friday. Um, I hope I get and, it. Hmm? I hope I get it in the mail in time. Well, well you'll see. So, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll be playing that, and none of it's since it's brand new, it's going to be a new for all of us, um, and we'll see and go from there. But uh, more info once we actually know on the time. Probably won't know until very close to when we start. So, nonetheless, have a good couple days. Bye bye, everybody. Um, have have Katie, and thank you, everybody. I want you to know ahead of time before we play Monster Hunter that. I am best at it because my dad works at Nintendo. And if you My brother works in the Navy. And he's been trained for 40 years in special ops. I'm going to send him to your house. Yeah. Because you pwned me. Is my chicken be with you? No, don't talk about chicken. It just gives him strength. <laughs> Pretend he's not there. No. Get some seasoning. Ah, just no. <laughs> can't even see. Thank you, chicken. Chicken.